Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the world of Risk Global Domination. I am Kilted. I'm a competitive player in Risk Online. Today, I'm going to be Mrs. Pink Lady from Finland, hopping in to start the day off to play Europe Advanced Progressive Capitals. Now, of course, somebody joined the lobby, and as I started the game, they left the lobby. So we're in a five-player game to start the day. We also went live on Twitch and YouTube and Kick right now, so we will have people coming in to say hi as the game gets underway. Blizzard's pretty crazy Orient setup right here. And Cat maybe in Russia. I'm four. I'm la Wait, I'm pink. I'm not purple. Uh, what am I looking at then? We've got Alps Blizzard, uh, Scotland Blizzard, or is that Oslo? That's Oslo Blizzard. So nice honeypot noob corner for London Cap. I would be shocked if Black doesn't go here. I mean, if he doesn't, maybe I can go Iceland as some like ridiculous play. No, of course not. Okay. Now I go last, so I actually need a strong capital. I can't really cap on a one and let people hit me. Maybe I go Prussia? Ugh. I don't think I have any really good caps. We're in a five-player game, not six players, and I still don't like any of my cap positions. Maybe I just go right here, Moscow. And then play for the Orient behind me and Russia. But if someone's in Georgia, I'm kind of screwed. What's up, everybody? Good morning. Welcome in. Very disappointed to have a five-player game to start the day. Uh, if you guys are unfamiliar with the settings, it is Europe Advanced Progressive Capitals. We have Fog and Blizzards on, no alliances, no portals. Normally, yeah, even if somebody doesn't ready up and we have a five-player game, usually there's a bot, right? Somebody actually quit as I click start, which is probably the most frustrating thing because I don't want to play a five-player game. But too late, we're live and let's go. I <clears throat> I bet we don't even see blizzards like in the thumbnail. It's false advertising, and I'm going to be hearing from your lawyer. Jesus, David, that's such a threat. Now I have to get blizzards like that. What's up, Jake? When are my juice ball hot pockets going to be ready? I think in 45 seconds, maybe 50, depending how hot you want. I've seen this already. Is this a repost? Oh, God. That's funny. Five-player Europe advance is way too snowball. We'll see how it goes. Uh, you get one or two quitters, and it's like a three-player game. Like, I really love these settings on six-player. I don't... I might have never played them on five, honestly. So we'll find out. What's up, Phil the Bald Guy? What's up, El Camino? Septimus Prime Midwest. Are we getting noob corner shenanigans? It's tempting, right? But I think I'm going to go Moscow. So we see red. We see black. We don't see orange. I am worried about a Georgia cat. Oh, my God. Portugal? I mean... Black, red, purple. If orange is in Georgia... Wait, would he have capped here if orange was Georgia? Alright, we're doing it. We're going, we're going Portugal. Screw it! How's the KPO2 going for me? Uh, I am in round 9, so I'll be playing next week. So yeah, usually I would be releasing my Kill Pete Open game right now, this minute, actually. But uh, I skipped this week. This is round eight this week. Uh, we had a good round one to seven. We skip round eight. So uh, we are we're doing a live stream instead. And next week I will be posting my Kill Pete Open round nine. Hopefully we make it to round 10. We'll see what happens then. But uh, so far so good in that tournament. Yeah, Iceland, Kyle. I could have went Iceland, but I don't know. I had a feeling Black was really strong in here. Dueling streams, but only one promise growth. I killed it. Signed up to the Risk Championship for the first time. Can't wait and maybe see you out there. Hell yeah, man. Good luck. You and Pete went live at the same time. You went... Ah, what's up, Nasty Nate? Yeah, I think Pete has a tournament game this morning. And uh, this is my scheduled stream that I scheduled for this week, so... It is what it is. Generally, I try not to stream at the same time as Pete and sometimes a couple other uh, larger creators, but uh, today we could not avoid it, so it is what it is. I'm going to try to take Spain on the first turn. What's up, Sean? Steez, Steez, oh my god. What just happened? All right, well, rip. <laughs> rip! 
Hello, everyone. What's up, Danny? How much did he fortify back? Ugh. So he has two five capitals? Hmm. Did he actually see my cap or no? Did he just go up and hit it? So much for a first game. Eh. I don't want to play a five-player game anyways. I'll be honest with you. I literally... I, so the way I load in at the start is like I click start on the game and then I... Or sorry. I click start stream. I let everybody know good luck that I'm starting the game. And then I click start stream and start recording. And then I go and I fire the lobby. So I already hit start streaming and then I fired the lobby. And then somebody quit. A little annoying. Uh... Do I bother with orange or do I chill? He's going to have a lot of troops if I go for Russia. He's going to stop me from Russia too, right? Oh no. Thank you. We'll take it. He'll, he'll try to take it back or black will take it or. Wait, super chats are coming in and it's not alerting me. Okay, that I, that I don't accept. We've had two super chats and neither has alerted me. Sean Conklin with a dollar ninety nine. Thank you so much, bro. I appreciate that. And David Dash, cousin of Clyde Cash. That's got to be a movie reference or something. Kiltedy's word of the day: doggy time. Possible translation: Leroy Jenkins. Hell yeah. Black says, "Get out of my game, Kyle." Yeah, I'm gonna get out of his game. We'll move on very shortly. You're competing with Pete, who is also streaming. Eh, it's all good. I try not to stream at the same time as other people, but uh, he has a tournament game, and this is my normal stream time, right? So it is what it is. I'm not too fussed about it. We do share a lot of viewers, so uh, it is what it is. Risk giveth the Ram Dingle and risk taketh. Yeah, the unfortunate part is I actually can't play Europe caps again for the rest of the day now. This was my one shot at a Europe Advanced Capitals game that was unsniped. So, uh, we have to find other things to play today. Orange is Pete? No, no, no. He's playing a tournament right now. What's up, Tom Whitfield? What's up, man? First live ever. Love the content. Killed it. Uh, Pete playing. Thank you, bro. What's up, Robo? Okay, so... What's next? There we go. We're getting there. We're only hitting orange. Super chat, 129 SEK. Top donation, no one can beat it. I don't know what that even is. Why are my alerts not working? How do I refresh it? Maybe that? What are you doing to me, YouTube? Why are you letting me down? You're letting all of us down? It's $500. Swedish crones, huh? All right, all right. $500? Actually, that is that is some dollars. Thank, thank you so much for the uh, the dono drip. I appreciate it. It's not 500, but Jesus, I, I still very much appreciate it. I I uh, I preach not quitting games, right? I really do, but like I I just really don't want to play this. If I could be bothered, I'd make a video of just clips of Kilted struggling with stream things titled "Streamer Fails at Streaming." Yeah, you'd probably have a big compilation. Honestly, I'm not even kidding. 
It's unbeatable. Nobody can beat your donation. It, I think it works out to... Uh, okay, let's do USD. Okay, Zephyr's worked. Whatever I refreshed, it worked. Zephyr's worked. 499 USD Super Chat. Thank you, bro. Jesus. Okay, it was $12.46 American. That's what the crones were. Jesus. Did Red quit before me? No, he's still here. Red has these bonuses and a cap in here. Like, Red's actually very strong. Ooh. All I want to do is find orange stacks and smack them. Hurry up. I've got orange to hit. I come off the three? No. I try, I try a 75 percenter. Oh. Okay. That worked. That didn't. Oh my god! Alright, that's the most damage I can do. And we don't have a trade on three. Alright, that's the maximum I can do to him. Let's go play an actual game on risk. Jesus. Sorry to start the day off like that. Holy moly. Uh, I have to change my avatar, country, flag, all that. Hold up. Add the dice. Yeah, the dice let me down. We only lost. Dude, we got so unlucky. So unbelievably unlucky. I can't believe we didn't win that game. The dice were so bad to us. It's Hippo's music. Da, 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 da. Is Hippo here? <laughs> so Red skipped on purpose? Oh, he must have. Or, or he lagged out. Or I don't know what happened. I actually i uh, am very unaware. I was quite checked out of that game. Let's be honest. I think I have to find a lobby, maybe? Oh god, another super- Hold on. What are you guys doing? Okay, before I join a lobby... Well, apparently I've got a lobby up and now I leaked it. I hate this game! I fucking can't stream. What is wrong with me today? <laughs> what is wrong with me today? All right, hold up. I have to change everything again. I've fallen off. I am completely out of it. The thing is, I want fucking alerts to play, but I have to mute my desktop audio because of stream snipers. If you guys wonder why I stopped streaming in a month from now, that's the reason. I got sniped. It was very hard to dodge people last stream. Very fucking hard. Streamer problems, I know. Another clip for the video. Jesus. Okay, so the alert's not playing, but David with the super chat, $13. Who cares about anything other than USD? That man must be an American. I think that's the only explanation for that. There can be no other explanation. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the world of Risk Global Domination. I'm Kilted. I'm a competitive player in Risk Online. Today, we're Mr. Orange, and we're clicking the ready button because we are live streaming, and we hopped into somebody else's rank lobby. We're going to be playing classic, fixed, dice? No! We're, we're going to have a game. We're going to have a game. There was a colluder in the game. So the game prevented us from getting cheated on by canceling the lobby. Maybe there's a YouTube tutorial on how to stream on YouTube. Bro, we're going to fucking be playing chess and Catan and fucking Geometry Dash and all sorts of shit that's not risked today if this keeps up. A cursed stream. 
I, I, I just can't get a game. I just want to play. It's not March 1st. It's April 1st. Jeez, we're a month ahead. Okay, that was actually super positive for you guys that worry about getting cheated a lot. That actually canceled the game. I don't know if you saw the message. It said the game has been canceled due to a suspected collaboration or collusion. So it actually canceled the game because cheaters were in that lobby. You've never seen that message? Yeah. Hey, first time watching one of your streams? What's up, Sharpshooter? You joined the stream that is going to hell so far, but uh, ram dangling build up time. Does all the different currencies auto transfer to CAD? Uh, everything on YouTube turns into USD and then they send it to me at the end of the month and then uh, that turns into Canadian when it gets to me. But everything YouTube operates is a uh, United States currency, I think. Mr. Kyle, I've been wondering if you know what happens just after that a Doyle rules clip. I do know what happens right after that. I, I am aware. Definitely I do. It's USA number one. Hello, everyone. And welcome back to the world of Risk Global Domination. I am Kilted. I'm a competitive player in Risk Online. And this live stream we're on right now is struggling to get a game going. We're going to try once again to play Classic Fixed Risk with true random dice. And for some reason, I'm the white player because I joined the lobby and I guess it just gave me white. And I hate playing as white. So for that reason exactly, this game will actually work and we'll get to play it. Of course! Of course! All right, we're playing Classic... Pro well, okay, we're playing Progressive World Dom on the Classic map with true random dice. So it's a Progressive World Dom game. It's not even fixed. All right, here we go. Progressive World Dom on the Classic map. I'm almost always playing... Uh, classic fixed on these on this map, but let's try it with progressive world dumb and true random dice. We have Andres from is that Venezuela? I, that's my guess. We have Troy Buzz from United States, Johnny Utah from Sweden, Load Load Rink from Sideways France from Netherlands, from, and the younger from uh, United States. Jesus, is this a re-upload? Oh my god. I don't think we're getting any YouTube videos today. Let's be honest. What's up, Jerazer? Hello, my favorite ginger. When am I playing with the community? Usually near the end of the stream. Not a sniper. Long time watcher, first time live stream. Oh god. I've been getting canceled games because of cheaters way more. Okay, so if that's ha <clears throat> If that's happening, that's a great sign. Oh, Johnny Utah, what happened? You lost a 5v1. Mr. Kyle, I've been wondering if you... Oh, yeah, yeah I read that. Uh, I tried a reverse world cap game with blizzards and fog this morning. Looking pretty dire for me, but I finally managed to ram dingle out a win. What's up, Samuel? Congrats. I've heard from someone that if you don't like the stream on YouTube, you are gay and straight if you are already gay. True. If you don't like the stream and you're a straight person, then you're gay. But if you're a gay person and you don't like the stream, then you're straight. There you go. Got him. Offend everybody equally. Long time watcher, first time sniper. Jesus. The 5v1 loss is disgusting. Yeah, great way for him to start. Red doesn't even have a card. Did Red even roll anything? No, Red just added his troops and skipped. He skips on turn one to get a bigger trade later or what? Oh my god. It's true random. We're going to be so weak when the trades come in. Please tell me Pink doesn't add six troops and smack my four. No, these guys. No. He wants Pink to lose all his troops so he could... Oh, no. Okay. Welp. Is a 6v1 strong? 6v1 is powerful. It works. Let's go. Woo! What happens if you're bi? Oh, that sucks. How do you offend somebody that's bi? Buy isn't real. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I don't know. You're the opposite then. Instead of liking both sexes, you like neither. I, I don't understand what is happening today. 
Thanks, fellow Ontarian, for the win. I finally caught a live stream. Hell yeah, man. Today's live stream is cursed, but I bet you we get a banger a couple games before the, the stream ends. So, we usually do. I mean, we've had some really good streams lately. I think the last three or four streams, we've just had banger after banger after banger. So, if we get one that's cursed where everything goes to shit, I mean, we're due. We are due. It's a Friday. I mean, the end of a long week. If I could, I would send a hundred cheers just to play you. Well, I do host uh, community games at the end of the stream. And uh, I do open the codes up to everybody. So if you know how to join and you're one of the first five to get in, then we can have a game. I try to play with everybody I can. What's up, fellow Round Niner? What's up with Captain Ram Dinner? What's up, Carter? So congrats to Carter making Round Niner the Kill Pete Open. By the way... If you guys don't know, the Risk World Championships is open for signups right now. And it's the last chance to sign up. I, I believe the tournament starts on Monday of this coming week. So today is what? Friday, March 1st. I think the tournament starts Monday, May 4th. May, March 4th. Monday the 4th is when the tournament begins. And uh, you start playing your games by next Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, stuff like that. Or on the weekend. So uh, tournament's open to all. I believe they already have over 500 signups. And if you guys sign up for the tournament, and then you put in, hey, how did you hear about the tournament? Kilted, I get nothing for it. But it's still pretty cool to see you guys play. And then they, they would let me know how many people mentioned me as a, as a, a, during their uh, registration. And it'd be cool to see how many people we could bring in and get them to play. How do you sign up? I can get you the link and information right now. And we'll see. I'm I, I'm doing everything wrong this morning, so maybe not. Yeah, so I will post the sign-up link. Wait, do I need to also link the Discord? Ugh, I do. I need to link both. Because the Discord... It doesn't link to the Discord. Oh, it does. Okay, okay. So the sign-up link is here. I'm going to post it in both chats. Feel free to go sign up. Everybody is welcome to play in the World Championships. Anybody can take a taste can take a taste, can smash, and try to win that crown. And uh, if you do sign up, there is a link to the Risk Discord at the bottom of the sign-up form. You do need to make sure you join the Risk Discord because the tournament operates out of that Discord channel. So you can't just sign up and then disappear into the nether because then you don't get to play. You have to go somewhere to play. It's the only way that makes sense, right? All right, we're going to continue to... Tr oh, my God. Stop it! True random, leave me alone! Why are you so disgusting to me? I'm so tempted to sign up. Get in there, one shot. We miss you, man. Kyle, what's your KPO availability so I can tourney snipe you? Why would you want to do that? That's less chance for you to win, man. Or I guess woman. Are you going to be the back to back world champion? I I'll try. It's very unlikely. C. Carter 1996 cheered X1000. Here's the link to sign up for the FFA championships. Oh, thank you, Carter. I appreciate it, man. Thank you for the thousand bits. Yeah, Carter's also posted in the link in Twitch. I think I posted it and it should have shot to both uh, both chats. I've been having those major turning nostalgies. Dude, one shot. If you're around, you should play. Even if you can't focus and concentrate and practice like you would like to, at least you could dip your toe in and have some fun, right? I mean, I'm struggling with the very competitive side of me that wants to win every single tournament. But also, like, this is my job and I can't really focus and train and study and practice like I was before. So like my skill level takes a hit and I have to deal with that, but I still get to compete and try to see it more as a fun thing. Is a thousand bits more than three bucks? Yeah, a thousand bits is 10 bucks. I pinned it for 10 minutes. Oh, thank you, man. I have to go to California on business to catch Kilted on live. Sup, dude? You have to go to California to catch me live? I'm not in California. What's up, Scythe? True, he he. True, I don't think being in your lobbies worked out for me before. I just like, honest to God, like I I don't care if I win the. I'm gonna try to win the Kill Pete Open, obviously, but the settings and and the skill level and the difficulty for rounds nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and into the finals, it's gonna get very intense, and there's gonna be a lot of people practicing and studying these settings. For hours upon hours, daily. And... Oh, my God. 
And I don't have the time to do that. So I'm going to do my best, obviously. And with some good luck and with some good play, I can get there. But I'm going to be less prepared and practiced than uh, a lot of others. So blue is incredibly weak. I cannot believe... True random is the sickest thing ever. He lost a 5v2, killed nothing, and then lost a 4v1. I mean, you see 3 on 1, but you guys know what I mean. This is disgusting. Uh, he's going to roll this 4 at some point, obviously. I'll go down. Do I want attack paths or defense paths? Like, I'm later in turn order, so you'd think I'd want attack paths. Or, or defense, but I think people are going to be so weak. Maybe even the first set of trades is enough to start chaining stuff. Kilted, I don't want to cause drama, but I like watching you more than Pete. You're more chill. There's, that's not drama. Dude, some people like watching JJ more because he's uh, youthful and he likes to spam emotes and have funny sound alerts. And they just like that vibe better. People like different people. People like Pete for his philosophical takes and shit sometimes more than me. And then sometimes people like me because I'm I, more of a goofy idiot. And... That can be relatable, too. It's whatever. Like, there, I don't think anybody should be offended if uh, people have preferences, right? What's your worst map that you don't enjoy on the game? Uh, Red Sands Fort and Troy. Red Sands Fort is my most hated map, and I'd say Troy is my second most hated. Youth Bull, that's one way to describe JJ. Yeah, JJ is full of exuberance and all that shit. All that weird stuff. I've just winged it watching other people play their games work so far. Yeah. I tried to watch JJ, but he says stupid stuff too much. But he is good at risk. That's fair. Uh, so green does get South America. Well, so if you guys are wondering why I'm kind of just trying to position myself all over the place, did I ever lose like a South American stack? I don't think I ever had anything in there, right? I don't know. But, uh... Generally, I just want multiple positions across the board. This guy is crazy. Because, I, oh my god, purple's going to try for North America. Do you understand that that's not the play? Please tell me you know that's not the play. Uh. So here, this is actually funny. When you play Classic Fixed... Obviously, you want to condense your troops together and take a bonus, get strong, right? A lot of people don't realize, newer players especially, progressive card bonus changes everything about the game. So these bonuses don't matter. If you're suiciding all your troops to try to get a bonus, you're going to die. Because the trades start going up so fast. I have no trade. Uh, this trade start going up so fast. 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 15. And then they go 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Once the trades are at 40, which happens in like five more turns... These plus two bonuses and stuff are nothing. This dude is straight threatening, like, get out of my bonus or die. He, he, oh, man, really? You don't know? This guy's going to run out to here? Blue's going to get smoked. I need to put more troops in Middle East. No? Okay, we're trading in here still? I like that. Trading in here is good. Red and pink seem to understand how this works. Maybe pink doesn't because he's got some stuff going for Africa, but red knows how to play this. He also card skipped early, so he's going to get a bigger trade on the first sets. I'm pretty sure blue is hitting Europe now. Is green coming in? Okay, there's no alliances either. I don't hate that. Now my five is here and it's not really... Like, I'm not the one screwing you over, Purple. Everybody's screwing you over because your strategy's bad. Oh my god, he lost another 4v1! Oh my god. Oh, and then he card skip. Because he doesn't want to roll three on ones. Dude, Blue has got screwed by the dice today. Oh my god, that guy's got the worst luck ever. I mean... Green's not the one I'm going to kill. Maybe I bring the four into the seven? Don't screw me. Oh, baby. 
I think I have a Middle East card. Oh, I don't get to use it though because it was an artillery. Yeah, my first card was Middle East and that's why I was kind of staying here as well as I want kill lines on blue. But I also have plus two on Yakutsk. Yakutsk Tusk. So that's pretty good. Card skip now to get the big trade. I, you could think about it, but I actually think this game, I'd rather be earlier in the trades. So like you, on different maps and different setups, you do want to be later in trade order. But I actually think on this, I want to be earlier because everybody's very weak and true random has hurt people a lot. Blue's very killable early. So like, let's say four, six, eight, I'll get the eight trade and then blue gets a 10 at some point. He'll still be under 30 troops. So then when the 20, 25, 30 come out and I get the 30 or 35, I'll be able to kill blue and chain maybe. I like the emotions. Kilted gets that frustrated emotion. JJ gets all pissy and salty. Pete can get angry. Yeah, I, I guess, yeah, people handle bad things happening to them differently, right? JJ approaches it more, more uh, like Pete wears his heart on his sleeve. If he gets pissed off, you'll see he's pissed off. JJ, younger guy, so a little bit more Wah! when stuff doesn't go his way. For me, I, I guess, I, I don't know. I just play into it a bit. I, I'm here for fun. And dumb shit's supposed to happen, so, like, I don't know. Looks like Twitch notifications are struggling. Ah, oh, I'm sorry, JToki. What's up, Spud? A.K.A. Spud Tupped? Pete is good when he gets angry, or occasionally he gets sad and quiet. Pete's good all the time. He's really good at risk. I don't know. Are you saying he gets better when he's angry? He gets vengeful? Dude, I... I like to watch Pete when he gets pissed off at somebody, and then like 20 minutes later he kills that person. He's like, Aah! Those are the good moments. What's up, Pega? All right, so what's the red player doing? You've already skipped, right? So you could take your card now. Do you trade early? You're not going to go for a kill. On blue, maybe? Maybe he's thinking, he's calculating a blue kill. I'd love to see him trade and kill blue. That would actually be good for me. Because that takes his four into a trade, this four into a trade, green trades. I maybe think about pink at that point. No, he's chilling? Yeah, yeah. I figured he'd chill. We saw that in the first game, if you can call it a game this stream. Oh, where I just got a little frustrated? Yeah, yeah. As much as, like, streaming Risk is a lot of fun and hanging out with you guys is a lot of fun, it is very tough to stream and get real games. That is the struggle. If there was a way to do it and guarantee I get real games, it would be uh, much more enjoyable for me. And the content would be better. But we join a random progressive classic map because I'm trying to dodge getting, and I can't even play Europe Advanced, right, for the rest of the stream. I would like to play a Europe Advanced Capitals game for you, but I can't. So, Green's basically, he's just co coordinating all of his troops together. Oh my god. So, green is not scary at all because he doesn't know how to play progressive world dom. So, green's very strong, but he's not scary because he doesn't know how to play this mode. Purple's reasonably scary, but I'm not scared of him either because he also seems to only care about this bonus. Red seems more scary. I wonder if I leave... No, because the green 10 still here. I'm like, if I leave North America, would purple take it? But the red 7... The, the green left a 10 stack here, so he wouldn't. Yeah, I've got red and pink down here. So red and pink are the only ones that could actually kill me. And they both haven't traded yet. Fun. Do this. I like the Middle East position. I have no trade on three. I do uh, need a cavalry or an artillery to get a trade. Red may kill blue here. This is better. Red actually waiting to kill blue is... Wait, blue card skipped? I have no idea what's happening, dude. I don't know what's happening. C. Carter 1996 cheered X1000. I never get angry or frustrated. Also, don't watch my R4, R5, R6, or R8 KPO2 games. They never happened. I'm a beacon of positivity at all times. 
Uh, of course, Carl. Of course. You are 100%. You are a beacon of positivity, but holy shit, do you get stressed when you're playing tournament games. Thank you for the thousand bits, bro. I really appreciate it. I appreciate your support. I really do. Like an anonymous name thing? I know in Apex they have that so people can't get streams. I'm actually on an anonymous name, Greg. I, I hide my name, but I, the population of Risk is so low. So if like there's only 30 lobbies of, of games, not tournaments, but if there's only 30 lobbies of games open and the majority of them are noobs with noob settings and then I host a Europe Advanced Progressive Capitals, very easy to find. Especially if there's like 10 people searching, right? A guaranteed two or three get in. Definitely one does. Like, it's just, yeah. It's not, I'm not always saying that there's always 10 people searching, but there's, there's definitely a number. Like sometimes, I, like if I host it, I can just kick people, right? You see Pete when he hosts it and says, please don't snipe me. And he doesn't even hide it and doesn't care when he gives up. You just see like the same names. Names you recognize from chat. There's just so many people. They just don't give a fuck, man. How much is a thousand bits? Have they beaten David's $13? Uh, no. Thousand bits is $10 US. It's the equivalent of the streamer receives $10 for the thousand bits, but it costs you more to buy a thousand bits. So if you buy a thousand bits on Twitch with your mobile phone, I think it costs you 20 bucks. I think if you buy it on your computer, it's like 14 bucks. It's way cheaper to buy on your computer. So if you ever try to support somebody on Twitch, try to log into a PC to buy the bits or, or use a, a direct tip because then the, the company doesn't steal all of the money. Kyle's the nicest one out of all of us. I think he only called me a baboon once. Oh my God. You were such a baboon that game, Spud. I was, I actually got mad during that game. I was actually mad because you fit like, I learned my lesson, right? You fist bumped me. I let you hold your bonuses and you fist bump me and and then you fucking ramdingled me right after the fist bump. Okay, 19 troops does not kill all of blue. This is so dumb. Am I gonna lose? No, I'm gonna win. Red, green, purple, don't care about them. Only care about blue. That's why I didn't kill blue with 19's deck. That is so dumb. Bro, oldie hood with the resub. Thank you, man. Twitch told me to do this. It told you to resub. Thank you, bro. Oh, uh, I just wanted to beat his $12.47 of fake money. That's why he did the 13 super chat. Well, thank you, bro. Dude, that is so disgusting. We need another daddy's home thumbnail in Canada Advance. Bro. Did you not like, okay, did you guys not like yesterday's thumbnail? Because I heard a talk in Vampire Chicken's stream that people were talking about it. The fist bump is apparently the trend. Well, generally, if you take a bonus beside somebody else that has a bonus and you fist bump, you guys let each other hold bonuses. I mean, it does generally signal different things. I know now that Spud's use of the fist bump is, please don't hit me so I can fuck you right away. Please don't hit me, but I'm going to fuck you right away. Please don't hit me. Please don't hit me, but I'm going to fuck you. That's... That's why he spams the fist bump. I, I I had to learn the hard way, okay? I learned it the hard way, and I was mad learning it. But now I know. Oh my god, tasty time. That was just as bad as mine. Dude, true random is, okay, worse than mine. Where are you going? Oh my god, that was disgusting. We got a hype trade now, thank you, man. Kalutch with the follow, thank you. And Wub's, Afro, Wub's Astro. Dropping a resubscribe saying, oops, misclicked. Accidentally resubscribe. Oh no. The clown face from the video haunts me. Kilted, are you, you play so early? Do you ever play more in the evening? Would like to match up? No, I, so like, I like to start my days early, right? Like we woke up at 5.30 this morning. We went to the gym, uh, like woke up, had coffee, went to the gym, got home, showered, had breakfast at like 8, 8.30. And then kind of I start getting ready into my stuff and then I, I work throughout the day and then we have dinner at a normal five o'clock, six o'clock time. And then we usually spend the evening together or I do other stuff in the evening, right? So like I treat it like a work day and uh, I, I'm the most functional and energetic and ready in the morning. So I like to, I'm a morning person. 
I'm not one of those sleep till 10 o'clock, jerk off four times, uh, watch a bunch of StarCraft videos, and then get ready and have my day start at like 6 p.m. with McDonald's or whatever. I used to do shit like that, but that's not me now. <clears throat> Zed Sinon with the follow. Thank you, man. Welcome in. What is Bitcoin? Uh, I don't know. I literally win the game this turn if I have a trade. No trade on four back to back, and I'm losing six troops on a dice roll. Oh my god! I really couldn't be a streamer when working from home. I need to reward myself with a wank every time I finish some work. Oh my god, Hanny. That was a good game. I'll be right back, guys. Oh my god, let's get another one in. That was a good game. I'll be right back, guys. That would be. Why do you think my pee breaks take so long? Oh my god, good dice roll. I think red... I am a little concerned about my position if red knocks this 5 out to take off. If red takes Australia, I'm no longer scared of him as a player. But also, I'm, I'm a little bit more concerned about my position for green and blue trading. Maybe he wants Australia? Maybe he goes for the blue kill. Or he chills. What does he want? He has a lot of power right now. God, that was scary. Okay. When you drink wine, do you spit or swallow? What question is that? How do you know so much about... Oh my god. Jerking it before streams is actually statistically proven to give you better dice odds. Okay, interesting. I just insulted your lifestyle. It's not an insult. <laughs> just say that. There's like, you're either a night person or you're a morning person. I'm a morning person. So that's why I can't really do the, the uh, like if I'm, if I play in a tournament game at like five or 6 PM, I am out of it. Like I am not the same person. Oh, I'm still guarded. Is he splitting here to guard pink? Jesus. He's going to split here to guard the pink one. What kind of play is this? No, he's not. Not that I... Why is blue on four cards still? What is this man doing? He knocks... I am safe. I, I live. Is he going to kill blue? If he fail kills blue, I... Oh, he won't fail that. True random dice reward. Everybody that's not me. He had a nine second loss, zero. Wait. Go down. Oh my God, what is this game? Okay, well I don't die, but I don't get the blue kill. He lost zero on a nine. I'm an all hours person, you really are, Spud. XRP Danmark, do you have any cryptocurrency, Kyle? Um, yeah, yeah. Red is kill guarding you? Yeah. Pink is an easy kill? It's 42 troops. Yeah. <clears throat> easy kill. <laughs> I mean, we'll see what this guy does. I have 34 troops, man. Like, if I get screwed on this... If I if I get a good dice roll and I kill this, maybe we can do something. Especially if he keeps hitting purple. Because pink for five cards into purple for three. Yeah. Red has no set. Maybe green doesn't have a set on four there. I don't know. 
I'm gonna try it. I am kill guarded by red, right? So I still survive. Middle East, finally. I have 62 troops. And I have to kill 42. Are you guys ready for true random magic? It's 90 second turn timer, so I can actually take all the time I want. I got like eight on a 13, 12 on a 13, 13 on a 13. That's kind of normal. <clears throat> Let's take the Australia plus two. Make that a seven, so it's a bit bigger for red. Red can't kill me if I make this a ten. I should just go for purple though, right? Would I be able to kill green after purple? Probably not. Fingers crossed, bros. Even dice. Why? Trap my seven, I know, but uh, for reasons. Do I actually punch green too or no? Yeah. I'm not going to hit green. We'll see what happens here. Red has no trade. I'm still kill guarded behind the 26. Woo! Why what? There, there was no kill on green. There was no good play to try to kill red. There was nothing to do there but sit, right? I could have hit his nine. I could have hit in here. I don't care. I want to see if green trades and takes North America or something. Like, if green trades and knocks this out, we're looking at a good position. We're also in a position where red gets one more card. Trade, kill, red, trade. Like, what, what, what? There's lots of options here. He's thinking. I came in late to the game, so I have no idea what kind of chaos led you to be in this situation. Were you stuck in the Asia? It, this was a progressive game. <laughs> okay. Unless the worst stuff in the world happens, I win the game right now. It might. The worst stuff in the world might happen. But if it doesn't, we win right now. Because of progressive cards. The more he rolls, the more hopefully he takes damage. Johnny Utah, you should have traded on four if you had it. Mm hmm. Wish me luck. 119 to kill 88. Good dice. Great dice so far. Taste it, baby boy. Taste it, baby boy. Hundred and sixteen to kill eighty-eight, and I had thirty left. We went like neutral the whole dice. I didn't get screwed. We'll 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 give you the old twenty-five or what? No. We'll give you thirty. Fifty-seven. Let's see what damage I can do with a seven v ten. Oof. Oh my god. Classic Prague coming in clutch. We'll take it. 
True random disgusting. A lot of people not playing the settings correctly. I don't even know if Green had a trade or not. Uh, but if he did, he should have definitely taken it. We beat three experts and two beginners. I haven't played classic progressive in like forever. So uh, we'll take it. Maybe we'll throw this up on YouTube in the future. And if you are watching this in the future on YouTube, and it's not currently March 1st, March 1st please consider subscribing to the channel. And yeah, watch more Risk. Watch more of my stuff, man. And I'll see you later. And if you're still watching on March 1st, you guys can click like. I love you long time. Wow, I'm bricked. Time for a quick bathroom break. Right, right, right. Hold up, I gotta answer this. Quick text message. Okay, okay. Uh, let's set up for another game. Why is it so quiet? Where'd my music go? Ah, there it is. Keep in mind, uh, World Championships, the Risk World Championships are open. The signups are open. So if you haven't thought about joining, I invite you to consider it. We have over 500 signups for the upcoming World Championship, and it would be nice to see as many people join as possible. It is open to everybody. Literally open to everybody. So, you know, come try your luck. Even if you suck at Risk. You hop in, you play practice games with Grandmasters, you learn, you get better. The the Kill Pete Open, especially in the first four to six to eight weeks, a lot of new people came in and they're fucking epic players now. It, you get skilled very quick if you practice a lot with good people. So highly advise if you are interested in the Game of Risk to check out the World Championship Tournament. It's a great opportunity to learn, even if you don't win. Go take the bathroom break, aka Jerk and the Gherkin. Fonty says he's going to come try his luck. Yeah, Fonty wants to win another title. He's already got one. <clears throat> Are you hoping they get less signups than KPO2? I, so I'm not... No, I. they will have less signups than KPO2. But I would love to have as many as possible for the world champion. Like, we're not competing. We're promoting it. We want it to be as big as possible too, right? Overall, all of Risk needs to explode. I'm a novice. Can I sign up? Shut up, Spud. Suck at Risk. That's me. Open to everybody so even Kyle can join. Yes. Very true. Okay, wait. True random progressive classic. What the hell did we just play, man? I fed round it to Fonty. Uh, Tony RL. Thank you for the follow, man. Welcome in. Let me get a game set up. Or join one. <laughs> I can't tell you what I'm doing. All of risk needs to explode. Like Bitcoin. Bitcoin's been exploding. What is it at now? Is it? Uh-oh. We're down a couple percent in the last 24 hours. Oh, no. The title's now a lie. Bitcoin shot up over 63K and now it's down to 61. Everything's everything's on fire. Uh, the world's ending. Okay. Let's get a game going. I suck it so good. Bathroom break over. Oh my god. Hello from Brazil, Kilted. Today's my birthday. Win one match for me. What's up, Rodrigo? Happy birthday, bro. What's up, Michael? Meme coin palooza. Oh my god, the meme coins are crazy. What's up, Baldwin? Bro, yesterday's thumbnail was so goofy. How's your physical training coming along? So January, I lost 10 and a half pounds. February, I kind of did a neutral. Uh, February was very busy getting a bunch of videos done and uh, getting ready for the move. There was a whole bunch of shit I had to handle for the move. Uh, so February, we kind of got this, the wind knocked out of our sails a little bit, but uh, we're back on track now. Now that we've moved, we're mostly settled in. So we've got a new gym and it's better than our old gym. Yeah, so so far so good. We'll see what March has to has to uh, has in store for us. <clears throat> Yesterday's thumbnail got you put on a registry. Oh my god! I will like your stream if you tell me what cryptocurrency you got. But is that not like private information? If you have crypto, why would you want to share that? And if I'm like, dude, I went all in on Dogecoin, bitches. That's like, don't listen to that because that's stupid. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. I don't know, but like. There's so many meme coins and shit. 
Like, I don't want anything to come across as financial advice. Okay, I have to get a game going. Let's uh, let's get a game going. <clears throat> Only 10.5 pounds in a month? I lost that in four days. Food poisoning is so good. Oh, God. Yeah, but so if you lost 10.4 pounds in four days, you lost water weight and, a, and fucking a bunch of other stuff, right? You lost all the bloat and the excess. I, li I lost the water weight, and then I weighed myself, and then I lost 10.5 pounds in a month. So it's like... But yeah, I, I guess you could, you, could, you could starve yourself for four days and be sick and puking a bunch, and the scale will go down. I'm not into the pump and dump schemes. No, no, yeah. I think there's uh, crypto markets are uh, incredibly. I don't know. Uh, it has incredible potential, but it also like 99% of the things are scams. So everybody hop hops in, tries some scammy bullshit, loses their money, and goes broke. And then the people that know what the what's going on kind of make money over time because it seems to be going one direction. So it is like it's it's it depends. If you're a gambler, it's probably terrible for you. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the world of Risk Global Domination. I'm Kilted. I'm a competitive player in Risk Online. Today, we are Mrs. Pink Lady from Great Britain, clicking the ready button. We're playing Alcatraz Capitals, ladies and gentlemen. We are currently live streaming to an audience of 17 million people, and everybody has clicked like on the stream. I'm the pink player in the first position. We're playing Fixed Capitals on Alcatraz. I, oh, man. So if I cap on this two and white doesn't cap here, I'm good. If I cap on this five or this four and orange doesn't go here, I'm good. Should I cap on this four to more ensure that orange doesn't cap here? I think he's going to cap here anyways. Because an eight cap is very safe. I mean, I like I have to cap over here. Obviously. I have to cap in one of these two spots. Obviously. I guess I'll just go in the middle. Maybe I should... You, you could definitely make an argument that the four is better. 100% you can make that argument. But it is what it is. We're playing Alcatraz Capitals, baby. Like, I get, what, six troops in the first turn? I try a 10 on 8 if orange caps here? I don't know. I don't try the 10 on 8. Ugh. I actually want people to see my capital so they fuck off. Maybe orange goes on this two? No, he's after white, right? He won't go on this two. Honest to God, orange only has this for a capital choice. He doesn't have a better choice. Like, look at orange's positions. He has to go here. But if I'm allied with him, maybe I can take the bonus and he leaves me alone? Oh my God, no! No! Clinton! Ballsack! Motherfucker! Just get some XRP and hodl. White has the seven. Ugh. Yeah, white's definitely capped here. Uh, orange definitely. Yeah, orange has to cap here. This is so funny. By funny, I mean fuck. I just got rimmed up. It's Alcatraz, baby. All I gotta do is survive till the lend the late game. The lend game. Always the ball set. Yeah. Wait, you moved already? Yeah, we moved. We are in the new place. It's not all put together fully. We're waiting till Becky comes over tomorrow and we're going to make her clean the entire place. No, we, we, we've cleaned it. We've, uh, but we do got to continue getting like organized. I have more foam pads that are uh, unvacuum sealing that I'm going to be putting on the wall. So any slight echo you're hearing in the microphone is going to be going away very shortly. Should have gone on the two? Here? Between the sevens? Oh my god, that would be crazy. 
Like all of my options were bad, right? And it's fixed capitals. We're playing fixed capitals on Alcatraz. Uh, alliances, fog, blizzards on, no portals. This, you need bonuses and fixed capitals, right? Well, you don't. You can just cap stack infinitely and get second, but I'm not here to play that game. I kind of very much want to get bonuses, so. I was always going to cap somewhere and fight for some bonus. Black's turn one is a pop pop. He's got... Oh, Black's just loving this position. Pop, pop, and back to cap. Bad dice? No. If it was bad enough dice, Orange might have been tempted to go for his cap, but he didn't get bad dice. He's fine. Orange is very easy to card block in two turns. Yeah, yeah. The, although card blocking doesn't matter because it is fixed. I mean, it would, it would matter early game, I guess. I want him weak here so I can hopefully take him. Like, if I win this fight back here, if Blue stays back here and him and Orange kind of get into it, and I can conquer this, I would get, I would be able to grow big enough to be butting into the back of blue, causing him problems. The downside though is if Orange wins this fight and is strong enough that I can't come through, he's going to be butting up into my back end and then I'm screwed. Alcatraz is disgusting. Do a Pete imitation? Honestly, it sounds better than the old videos. Which one does? Hmm. <clears throat> Sound is already 10,000 times better. You guys think the sound's better? Well, that, I, I'm not sad about that. I'm just gonna, I am gonna add more foam so there's no echo, but. Haha, <laughs> back end, he said back end. I played a game where someone stacked his cap all game for second place on Europe. Yeah, yeah some people like to play like that. If, if your goal is rank points and you don't mind stacking your capital forever, I guess you can get rank points, but I more enjoy playing the game of Risk. And uh, trying to get better, trying to play interesting, unique, weird shit. That's more exciting for me. I'm also probably going to run out of cards at some point. You'll die soon? It's possible. Oldie, I don't know if you've watched the channel. I, I know you have. You know we do some crazy shit on Alcatraz. You know there's some games that are impossible to win, but it's Alcatraz and it doesn't matter. I'm late to the Nanners. What's up, Johnny? Ranked points X. Ram Dingle points checkmark. Exactly. Don't forget the eight is greater, or the four is greater than 84. Oh my God, yeah. What is he doing in here? I'm like running out of cards. So he didn't know? Maybe he wasn't allied with... Maybe Blue has allied nobody, so he didn't know the orange cap was here and he thought he could take this bonus. Now he sees it. Yeah, Black's just going to start cleaning everything and coming out. Yeah, he's fine. White wants to clean this bonus. As long as white doesn't overextend, he's safe. Oh my god. Fuck it, I don't have a trade. If he takes this, okay. Doesn't take more, though. Dude, oh my god, if I get a big trade... I have to be scared of blue, too, though. Man, Blue's going to put more back here, right? If I put more in Orange's face and not in Blue's face, maybe he feels safer. Red also trades cards with me in the middle, which I like. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Lottery is crazy if you hit the right numbers. Woo. Blue didn't know Orange was there, I guess. Yeah, I guess Blue didn't know Alliance accepting. He didn't see my Alliance, so he didn't see Orange from this side. Oh, man. I left work yesterday after a 17-hour day until 2 a.m. only to get on the highway and get stuck in traffic for a construction crew working on a bridge. Dude, I hate, like, going out to do something or see a friend or whatever, and then I'm driving home at midnight or 1 or 2, and that's when they're doing traffic, uh, like, wor work on the roadways, like, on the major highways. That's when they have to do the work on the major highways, but getting stuck... 
No, nothing is better than a 1 a.m. drive home where you can just speed the whole way and nothing bothers you. And then you you lose that opportunity. Attack. Thank you. No. Is he a bot? No, he's not. Okay. And then you lose that opportunity. I wish he put in here. Shit. He's going to finish this now. Good. He has to roll in here. Is he going to try to finish it? He doesn't. He comes back to cap. He's playing safe. If orange has no trade on three, though. Is red still in here? No, I was in here. I was the one in here. No, it's just blue and orange. Kilt is the only person I accept clickbaits from. <clears throat> Twenty-three v twelve. Let's do math. And by math, let's just pull up a notepad that tells me twenty-three v twelve is sixty-eight percent. Raw dog. Ah! 68%! I had to try. If I get that roll and I go even, if I get that roll and I go even, and I lose 10 less troops, oh my god. If I lose 10 less troops, that cleans the pocket, right? That cleans the pocket. And I'm back. I'm literally back with like 17, 18 cap. If I go even there, I'm back and I have this and then blue's done. That's 68% to take the cap, but like maybe 40% to go even? Like, so maybe a 40% chance of just winning the game off that? Ugh. Blue's taking cards in here. Yeah. If he bots, it... No, he's not botting. Like, it'd almost be beneficial for me to just... If I could take this, come off this cap. Rip. Alcatraz, baby. No! Good afternoon to all the Ram Dinglers. What's up, man? Welcome in. First time watching a live stream as it happens. Love your content. What's up, Floyd? Thanks for being here. Oh, today's stream is rough. The games were getting... That would... Fuck. We're gonna lose an Alcatraz game today. If it's progressive, I'd be a lot more confident, but it's not. Uh, now show us how a world champion gets out of this situation. Okay. I'm just kidding. Go next? No, no. I like to play him out. This is a very bad position, though. So this this is showing the error I made on turn one, though. If I did cap on Stockade Stairway, I would have won this bottom section, and then blue would be screwed. So my loss 
If I lose, which I should, is because I didn't cap in Stockade Stairway, I capped in Kitchen. Vampire Chicken would have known better. Oh, come on. Leave me alone. I want cards, doggy. Blue could have traded with me here forever. <laughs> That roll was clearly a skill issue? Yeah. He, he would have known. And Al as Alcatraz goat, Vampire Chicken would have won that roll. He also would have won the roll, yes. Yeah, Charlie's right. If I was capped down here, I would have... Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Orange is going to card skip forever until he's big enough to just hit me. I'm going to lose this one now. We're in trouble. Blue should want you strong, because as soon as Orange kills you, he's next. Yeah. But he can't really... Oh my god. Yeah. Big trade? Oh no. No big trade. I got one more card. Get owned. You forgot to say it. It helps. Oh, I'm supposed to say get owned. Yeah, you're right. You're right. <clears throat> Blow on the dice a little bit. Fucking ball sack. Had the cap in my bonus. Welcome to Alcatraz. I was today years old when I watched my father get spit roasted by noobs. Oh no! How does the fog work? So, uh, with fog, you can only see the territories you're bordering. Yeah, I'm dead now. <laughs> and uh, if you ally somebody, you can also see their territories and the territories that they are bordering. So, Fog with Alliances works actually kind of interesting. Fog by itself. I mean, it's also interesting just by itself, but with it, Alliances it also adds. Three Masters, an Expert, and a Beginner. 68% doggy. You're a lucker dog. Okay. Give me a sec. I'll be right back. I'm going to grab a monster. We're going to play another game. <laughs> Damn ball sack. Horrible cap choice. Yeah, I picked the wrong spot. That's a collab move on black. Well, alliances were on, so he, he could have seen what was going on. <laughs> chair time, make it spin. All right, all right, for you, for you. You guys want some chair? Dude, I'm actually pretty sore from the gym. Look at this slut. Free handed. You guys don't get to look at the back though. You can look at angry penguin chair in the front. I'll be right back. You want to see chairs what? What do you want to see dripping? Oh, dude, chair, chair doesn't want to do it. Ch chair doesn't want to do it. It doesn't, no. It doesn't want to. Look, chair's not a hoe. It's, this isn't only chairs. You can't just request chair does whatever it wants. You typed only chairs at the same time I said it. That's funny, Jax. Exactly. Stop abusing the chair. Right? 
They can't pay for your booty hole? Exactly. Chair is not a slut. Chair maintains his value for the throughout his entire life. I mean, I have bent the chair over on camera before. It has happened. Not a perfect man. <clears throat> Why can't there be an only chairs? There could be. What, what, and chairs, butt? I got a little, uh, what is it? Gray sweats kilted, and I thought it was a family friendly. Yeah, they're, they're my lazy boy sweats for the house, man. Am I not allowed to have lazy boy sweats? We need chair emotes, interesting. I refund today's the second biggest dono. Shut up, Drippin! No! Not allowed. I've already put my kids through college with it. What do you want from me? <clears throat> Can't pay for your booty hole. Pete has entered the chat. Oh, God. What's up, Connor? Uh, hey, champ. I find the way your brain works very intriguing. May I ask a question? Which YouTube risk player would you least like to be sat next to on a five-hour flight? Love them all. Ah. Uh, dude, that's an evil question, man. If I'm stuck on a five-hour flight beside someone, a, 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 a risk streamer, all of them? <clears throat> Dude, that is a bait. Dude, that is a bait. <laughs> that is such a fucking bait. What a question. Check Discord. Oh my god, Hanny swiped right on my chair. He's got a sexy chair too. The correct answer is always Becky. No, I, I think a five-hour flight uh, beside Becky would be okay. We'd probably just have a couple glasses of wine and laugh, or I'd fucking throw my headphones in and watch a movie. I don't think she'd annoy me. Like I, I think the pro the the idea of that question is who would annoy me the most if I had to sit beside them and talk to them for five hours? I don't know. What's the answer you want? You want the answer to be JJ? You want the answer to be Pete? You want it to be Olive? Digitalic? Vampire Chicken? We'll say Vampire Chicken. Fuck Vampire Chicken. That dude would be so annoying to sit beside on a plane. Could you imagine? Fucking Vampire Chicken? Dude would be sitting here doing like chess gambits while I'm trying to fucking watch a movie. I want to watch Fast and the Furious. And he's like, well, go E4 and then you can ram dingle him through the H5 pond. That's the shit I have to deal with. <clears throat> All right, good luck. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the world of Risk Global Domination. I am Kilted. I'm a competitive player in Risk Online. Today, I'm going to be the Pink Boy Anonymous from Great Britain. We're going to play Europe Advanced Progressive Capitals. We're playing the Risk Meta settings, but we are also live streaming. So going into this game, there's a reasonable chance it's not going to be a real one. But if it comes out on YouTube later, it means it was epic. So if you're watching this in the future, prepare, buckle in, strap in, strap on, all the good stuff. We're going to play Europe Advanced Progressive Capitals. Fog, Blizzard's on, no alliances, no portals, standard risk meta settings. I'm pink, I'm in the fifth position. I have an Oslo cap, I have a Mercia cap. The Blizzard's cut Africa off from Africa, and nothing else is cut off. Blizzard's froze over Africa, but the rest of the map is relatively free to move through. Yeah, we're currently live streaming. We got some cool ass people hanging out asking weird questions. <laughs> Who could you enjoy a comfortable silence with? I, I don't shut up. I don't know if I could have a comfortable silence. Ooh, a Spanish player. What are you talking about? No. We got Ebert Storm from Germany. General Neptune from Spain. 50% chance I'm being sniped. I don't know. We'll find out. I don't care. Merle Sonata from Pac-Man eating the stars. Country. Uh, Blackie from France. That's racist. And General Bose uh, from Germany. Oh. Dude, some idiots in Iceland, right? It's impossible they're not. This is actually more access to the board, right, than Mercia? Whatever, we'll do that. 
Either way, I'm beside the red three stack. Woo! Come on, we need two more for this. Please join. Oh, yeah, someone's posting a code for testing or for a fun game. Do you own a physical risk game? I do. I own two. <laughs> we know it'll be a re-upload. I mean, if we got a fun game here, then the second channel gets to watch it next month. <clears throat> I'm literally a full month ahead on videos on the second channel. So anything I'm streaming now, if it's great, it comes out in a month. So good luck remembering if you've seen it. Although if you watch every live stream, then you would know you did. But in about a month, I'm going to cut back on the multi-streaming. We're probably going to go back to only Twitch and less frequent streams. Uh, April is going to be a bit of a vacation month for me. I'm going to try to catch up and relax a bit. And also... Yeah, so I won't have to worry about stream snipers as much either, so I can focus on just making the best content possible and just flooding both channels with the best videos I possibly can. Back to OnlyFans. Dude, what if I made an Only Chairs? Would you guys subscribe to my Only Chairs? It would be free, but what would I do? That'd be disgusting. That's actually a funny idea. You make an OnlyFans, but for your chair? You post chair pictures on like a free subscription model so everybody can sign and be with your chair. But if you want chair and lingerie, I'll do a photo shoot with chair and lingerie, but to unlock those pictures is $25. I can do a video with, oh God, no. You could get real creative. Would people sign up for that? You could get very creative. You would legit go viral? I wonder if that would actually work. Would... That would be ridiculous. That would be ridiculous. Million dollars, millions of dollars do it. Million dollar idea. And then I do collabs with other chairs. Dude, for the time to invest into something like this, I'll have to cut back on the risk videos. But I mean, you'll get different content. That sounds ridiculous. I feel like buy lingerie, but in a size that fits my chair. I just take my chair into like the fucking mall and I go into like Victoria's Secret with my chair and I'm like, I need lingerie that fits this size. Please. It's for my OnlyFans. A chair IRL stream? Yeah. Chair could do a 10,000 hour subathon, no problem. As long as the computer can stay on. $50 for chair on chair? Uh, you guys make me want to do this. You make me want to do it. So the blue butt? All right, General Neptune's already gone. You need to do the flash dance water splash scene with a chair. Flash dance water splash. I'm not sure what that is. Is that like the uh, Chris Farley? Put chair in the just chatting. What's up, Attitude? Great to finally catch you on a stream. Happy you're in here, man. Are you just going for Spain? Yep. White did... Fucking 12 to start. Yeah, blue lost his cap turn one. Okay, so turn one, blue lost his cap. To red. What, a, what an idiot head. Why would you let that happen? <laughs> okay. I won't threaten him, but uh, if we're going to ram Dingle, we'll ram Dingle. So he actually took France and Iceland, turn one. <clears throat> you need to hold your chair when it's making a clay pot. What? What? Hi, my name is Kyle. I'm a streamer, and I'm in love with my chair. I'm hoping 
Canadian Dr. Phil can help me. Oh my god. Question, if all risk YouTube were dropped into the Hunger Games, who would you send an alliance request to first? <laughs> Risky Phil? Or... Uh... Probably Risky Phil. And then... Risky Phil and Pete, I would say. We're dropped into the forest? Or Hunger Games, right? You have to kill or be killed? Ugh. Pete's not a fighter. But like, he'd be good for survival, I think. Yeah, I, I'm going. Risky Phil's my first, I think. But you give Chair a lap dance. I don't... Uh, this is not a lap dance. If what I'm doing is a lap dance, I could make a lot more money doing other in a different location. <laughs> Movie flash dance from the 80s? Oh, I don't think I've seen it. So White and I are going to be friends. I'm very big fan of that idea. He started with 10... Oh, somebody fucker dogged him. <clears throat> he took Spain and somebody fucker dogged him. Yellow, I guess. Hmm. There should be a just chairing category on Twitch. I could 16 V8 yellows cap. Okay, wait. White has Gascony? White's going to have Gascony Sardinia double two-point hold, right? Purple started with nine, so he actually doesn't have this. Can I take that middle bonus? Wait, nobody's even in the Orient. Red's kind of going there. Let's go this way. Blue's a bot. There's purple. White and yellow are not bots. I set my little walls up. Mostly go to cap. Dude, uh, if white gets this cap, he's got the two-point cap cap honeypot on Spain and Africa. Pretty strong. Wonder if purple ever thinks about trying to get in here. Maybe I should have opened purple? Does he know what's in here? This is terrifying. White's going to get like 20 troops almost. No, 16. Yeah, red's going for Orion. So I didn't want to put any in here and fight him. So I got to scroll back down. We recognize the world champ playstyle going for noob corner, of course. Can you wear a banana hammock? I mean, what? You realize that silly idea is a total winner. You will make money. Dude, the chair, chair only fans? I think that would work, yeah. Pete, no doubt. Pete, he's the strongest. You guys all think Pete would be the first, the best person to get for Hunger Games? <clears throat> Sent a collab request in Discord. The vampire chicken would be very crafty in a real Hunger Games scenario. I agree. I agree. What's up, Moodit? Or Muddit? I don't, um, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but what's up, man? Yo! I'm not the most outdoorsy person, man. You get, like, flies and stuff, and I'm just like... I get so annoyed so fast. Just cover me in flies and, and like, bugs and walking through spider webs and shit. I'll be so pissed off all the time. I'll, I'll end my own self. Jesus, that's tempting. There's threes. Back to Cap. I didn't know Purple was going for that, so we'll leave him alone. I'm not trying to fight with Purple. Jesus. <laughs> if White does some Ram Dingle here, I might... No, 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 no. That's right. I have no trade on four. Oh, I need a trade, man. 
<clears throat> Maybe open purple's cap south. I thought about it, but if purple hits this cap, then purple and yellow both take damage and white gets stronger. White is very strong. I want white to take the damage here. And then maybe I can do something. Or maybe purple can do something then. That's my thinking, at least. Red's rolling. He, he probably held Orient. I think he did. Hey there, good morning. Not because it's morning or anything, but because it's 5.30 p.m. and I just woke up. What's up? <clears throat> Killed his new vid. We'll be recreating Hunger Games with Mr. Beast with true random dices to kill people. Oh, God. Mr. Beast makes a video related to Risk? I mean, we wouldn't be in a video. Yeah, blue dice, okay. The way he makes videos now, we would be in like a 30 second snippet in a, in a 20 minute video where he does like a thousand, I did a thousand of the craziest things you've ever seen. And then like, if, if we somehow fit in the video, we'd be like 20 seconds. Yep. Purple's playing very smart. <clears throat> Good for him. Yep, fully friendly. The movie Hunger Games is not indicative of real human performance. The most savage would win and would probably wouldn't even take long. Crafty and thoughtful. Yeah, I think you're right too. Make a two here. I will open this though if it if it wins. Okay. Yeah, the the people that run in and grab the weapons right away and just start slicing everybody, they they would they would definitely just slaughter everybody. And those like what actually got me in those movies, some of them were like five people are working together to kill like two. It's like, okay, you can like just you Definitely probably should turn on each other. Four dollars and twenty cents. Twitch can suck it. Donations without their sticky mitts getting Kyle's cash. Bro, W one with a four dollars and twenty cent tip. Twi would you say that Twitch can suck it with their sticky mittens? Bro, thank you so much for the tip, man. W one pro, absolutely legendary risk player. I'm pretty sure he's in round nine of the Kill Beat Open. I would be absolutely shocked. I'm pretty sure I saw you like over 100 points or something. So, uh, or maybe even early qualified. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. Red is now leaving me alone. Nope. Hey, fuckhead. Do you know how I didn't block you in taking Orient? Well, Started with 23 troops. No wonder. We, we let you we let you run unchecked. Yeah. <laughs> devil face, devil face. Purple devil face says, I'm a drop of devil face. Let's raw dog this guy in his butthole. Yeah, baby. This is this is a spit roast with red. Oh, yeah. Purple got ram dangled. Yeah. I'm one of those things, a risk player. I think you're great. Haven't played for two weeks, so itching to get in. Yeah, I see you early advance. That's what it was. Yellow does die to white, finally. White trades, and now white has Gascony, Sardinia, two point honeypot hold. The end of this game is going to be tough. White can only come through purple or me. I think he's going to go through Italy and out this way because we've been friends. Okay. Well, I think we're hitting red. Red getting 23 troops and then ram dangling us is, uh, how about no? Oh, purple already ram dangled all this. Hmm. He's going to break me, but he'll open my 10. He has nothing? Oh, yeah. Open my 55, doggy. You're so dead. He's going to also... Oh, man. 
I can trade kill him, but it'll be on four. Uh, Visix with the prime stuff. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. Maybe red actually is from Spain. No, no. Blue's the Spanish boy. He quit. <laughs> Dude, what a great idea for a chair, chair fans. I still got that in my head. I'm like, that would be kind of funny. It'd be very dumb. It would be unique. The most risk I do is not wrapping up and risking the raw dog of a second child. Living on the edge. I mean, I hear you, dude. Is he going for the red kill? No. Is he kill? Whoa, whoa. Okay. One cap, two cap, three cap, four, five. He's leaving this to me? Bro, I hope white doesn't take that. I would like it. Take 5% commission for the idea and retire. Ah, oh, shit. Three player endgame. I'm gonna lose this cap to white. Purple and I have a decent thing, I think. It's on five cards. Fuck, white might kill purple right now. Raids are what? 30 only? Can he kill purple? He started with what? 27? I'm gonna hit my nine. Mm -hmm. 34 he lost on that. Interesting. How weak are you on your other two caps then? Breaking all my shit. Hmm. I've shown no aggression to purple. Okay, he's chilling. He wants me to fight white. <clears throat> white has no trade. I'm cards ahead of... Oh, fuck. How weak is this? Yeah, he stacked this cap, I think. 45 troops I start with. Purple's not open to this cap. Mm. 
Hmm. Purple trades. Yeah, well played. He's going to go for white. Oh, he's going to hit that capital. Oh, fucking what? Why would... That was the full stack. White just quit. That was his full stack. Dude, if this rolls off cap, I can kill it now. 50? <clears throat> Probably. What just happened? Purple gifted you the white kill to get second? I think he did. Yeah, it's quite possible. If the white bot can stop attacking, I hold more bonuses and it's easier to kill it. Stop it. Thank you. Jesus. And the eight comes off the cap. That's perfect. So it's completely empty on the cap. I can trade now. That doesn't make it all the way through. I need like, I don't know, 30. I, I don't know if there's, there should be empty here, right? It should be empty. 85 is more than enough. 30, 50. Oh my god, yeah, he fully gifted it to me. I mean, okay, thank you, Purple. I appreciate it. That was uh, quite lovely of you. Good game. Wild card, like, okay. He's going to just come off cap and give me the cap. Paid actor. Everybody's a paid actor. <laughs> yeah. This will be one of those rare moments where I don't world dumb. Because. Dude just accepted second. I would have. I don't know. I would have probably preferred to play like a fight. So like when he does that move to hit White's cap. I'm like yes I get the win. But I guess at the same time, I would have rathered like a full-on fight. Like a dog fight for the win. Because then it's it's tougher, it's more fun. So like, yes, I got the win, but could I have had a little bit more of a dog fight? That would have been cool, right? But Purple does clean up and get the second there with the... Uh, what was it? The sideways Pac-Man eating the stars flag? Yellow was the expert. White was a beginner. Blackie. We'll do. We'll take it. We got a Europe Advanced Caps game in today. Very happy. Very weird. We kind of just got to snowball run away with the game and uh, very little resistance. We just, as soon as you took the whole map, or I took the whole map, that, that was it. Thank you for joining until the end of the video. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Huh. Oh no, we're not Grandmaster anymore. What a contrast with the first game. Yeah. White wasn't as big as you thought. Yeah, he over-aggressed. Just watched Vampire Chicken's amazing KPO match, and now I'm here. What's up, Tomax? Yeah, man, he had a great round eight. I do that every time in purple shoes, too. I guess I'm a cuck uh, to take the second. It, it depends how you want to play. Like, for me, I'm in purple situation. I'm always going to try to play for first there. Unless it's like... Unless I'm, like, dead. If I have 50 troops and somebody's got 500... Then I'm going to, like, try to live for a second, I guess. But in almost all scenarios, I am going to try to play aggressively and find a win. But there's a lot of people that are like, I want to rank up. Like, he's a beginner rank. Locking in and securing a second there. Feeding me white to guarantee second. That's a good rank play. If, if you want your rank points, right? If you're like, I'm not going to beat this guy in the end. I'm going to take my second. I You can't super fault it, I guess. Question four. Oh, did I miss question three, Connor? I might have missed question three. Which risk YouTuber would be your first pick for an escape room? An escape room? Need somebody very smart. Did they have to be a risk YouTuber? No, I'm just kidding. I'm fucking with you. Uh, who'd be a good puzzle? Like, fuck, I don't want to say Risky Phil again. I feel like Risky Phil's got a good mind for puzzles. Who'd have a good puzzle brain? Kewl? Truth, maybe? Is Truth smart with, like, puzzles and shit? I wonder. 
I don't know. That, that one's tricky. Pete, Pete is very smart and knowledgeable in trivia, but puzzles. I, I don't know. I don't know if he's be as good for puzzles. But then again, I don't know escape rooms. Like, are some of the puzzles based on, uh, like, history, historical knowledge or something, right? Like, this code is based on, the code to this lockbox is based on the world war, or the war that happened in this location at this time. Something like that Pete would be fucking brilliant at. So, I, I haven't done escape rooms, so I actually don't know. So, puzzle-wise, I'm, I'm, I'm unsure. Mallory? Maybe? Chess is a puzzle? Yeah, I don't think you guys would do good, but it'd be fun to watch. Would you guys like to watch me and Pete bake a cake in my new kitchen? He gave me a price uh, like six months ago. He's like, I'll do a fucking cake baking stream with you, but I have a price. And he gave me the price. I haven't released that publicly yet. But there is a price to get me and Pete to do a cake baking stream. Hold on. Let me try to get more risk going. Where are we? We're an hour and 45 minutes into the stream. Okay. I feel good. I have my energy drink. We actually had a couple games work out. <laughs> Burn a cake. No, we would do terrible. We would be terrible. We, neither of us knows how to bake. We have to fucking mix an egg in, pour some powder, stir some shit, fucking mold it. How do you even make a cake? And then put it in something, cook it, put make ice. I, I have no fucking clue. I have no idea. I just know there's eggs and there's powder. And we would make a cake. And icing. Is the price non-monetary? No, it's a monetary price he gave me. He gave me a number. He's like, I would do that and this would be my number. I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll keep that in the back of the mind for the future. It's not a super outlandish number, but it's not, yeah, it's not 10 bucks. <clears throat> okay, let's play what? I have to mute my sounds, sorry. By the way, thank you guys for all the subs and the bits and stuff today. Fucking crazy, guys. The last couple streams after the move, I got a lot of support and uh, very appreciative. Even, I, I don't think Bill's here right now, so I will say nice things about him. Dude, Bill came in yesterday with my stupid thumbnail with the clown face. Dropped a $50 super thanks on the fucking video. Absolute legend. Okay. What do I want to play? I mean, I got some ideas. I actually tried to host uh, Earth 2209. Uh, true random fixed capitals game, but I didn't get any fillers earlier. <laughs> Pete seems like a five hundred dollars an hour kind of guy. He's he's not a cheap he's not a cheap date. You could use monster instead of milk in your dough. Do you have to put milk in a cake? I guess that makes sense, right? That's why people are like, I'm lactose intolerant, I can't have a cake. Why not just be like half of that video's monetization? What do you mean? <clears throat> if I post a video of me and Pete baking a cake, it'll make five dollars in monetization. So like that isn't going to do anything <laughs> towards persuading him to actually do it. So he gets $2.50. Exactly. Perfect deal. Okay. I have an idea on what I want to do. Now I'm just going to manifest it so it pops up on the screen and we all get to enjoy it together. <clears throat> By the way, if you are watching on YouTube and you click like, I would appreciate it. You don't have to, of course, but uh, bear with me a second. Okay. Trying to get partnered on Twitch. So today with a lower average viewer number, it's going to be a little trickier, but Twitch is never going to partner me. They hate me. The clown face thumbnail was clickbait. I thought I was going to see you in clown makeup. Guy, no. Hell no. That's what I mean, like, even the subathon, like, I will stoop to some levels in the subathon if you guys don't remember the Nanners moment, but there's there, there's definitely limits, right? I'm not going to put on a dress. Uh, th like, th there's, there's, there's places I'm not going. There's places I will go, but there's places I'm not going. You're not going to wear a dress? What's your eye color? Like, the ones look green and the other ones, I think it's, like, greeny blue. It's like a mix between green and blue or something. Hold on. Uh, trying to find a lobby with what I want, because what I want's reasonably easy to find. So if I can find it, then uh, I don't have to host it and I don't get sniped. So problem solved. 
Not even for five dollars waves of five in front of your face. For what? A dress? Or the clown makeup? Yeah, what's your eye color? One looks green, one looks blue. It might be hideous heterochromia? How dare you call me a hetero? Might just be lighting. Looks looks good on you either way. Thank you. No, I think it's just a green blue, greenish blue mix. Okay, hold on. Somebody is hosting what I want, guaranteed. There's like 90 lobbies I'm looking at. Unless the snipers are hosting. At, at this point, you can't dodge them. I, I, I'll do with the best I can. Joining lobbies will not stop you from being sniped. I know. It, it's, it's like near impossible, right? That's why everybody stopped streaming Risk so much. And that's probably partially why I'm going to calm down on it in about a month. But I want to really push these multi-streams as much as I can. You don't need clown makeup. Fuck you, Johnny. We were talking about you, Vampire Chicken. I was asked which Risk YouTuber would I most not want to sit beside on a plane for five hours. And then I was also asked which risk YouTuber would I want on my team first in the Hunger Games? And which one would I want in an escape room? I'm about to join a lobby of five snipers. Well, I joined one. What is the benefit for partner on Twitch? I think I get promoted a little bit more. Uh, you get a little bit more ad revenue. Like there's there's some things. There's also some other feature like a hype chat or something. I like, I don't know too much. I just want to check that box so I don't have to care about it. And then I can do whatever I want. I can stream Catan at 8 p.m. and not care. Because that's really what I want is to get partnered on Twitch so I literally can go on at any hour of the day, stream whatever the fuck I want to 40 people and just not care. But because they've got me like, I've been above the Twitch partner line for almost a year straight. And they just won't take me, they just won't approve it. If I fall down for a couple months, it might take another year. So I'm just like, ugh. Okay, I'm still searching. Yeah, Vampire Chicken made appearances for all three categories. Give me Vampire Chicken on a plane all day. Guy has no chill mode. Flight would be great. Yeah. I think I talked a little bit of shit about he'd be trying to teach me a gambit or something on the plane. Twitch should partner you. It's so dumb. Yeah. I would stream on Twitch way more because when I'm bored at 8 p.m. and I play a game of, for an hour or two of some random game to kill the time, I would fire the stream on for that. I literally would. I wouldn't care. <laughs> You're probably right, and we're going to get sniped, but... I hate being the paranoid boy, but it's crazy. Okay, <clears throat> good luck. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the World of Risk Global Domination. I am Kilted. I'm a competitive player in Risk Online. Today, I'm Mr. Yellow, anonymous from United Kingdom flag. And we're going to be playing Classic Fixed with blizzards on... My favorite way to play Classic Fixed with Blizzards, because Blizzards can chop the map up in very weird ways, give you a two-point European Honeypot God Spawn for green. Why not for yellow, bro? Why not for yellow? Look at this. Green is going to be massive. Send out the alliances and run for cover, because green's going all in on Europe. Okay, great start to the game for green. What do I have? This also gives you a two-point North America. So just because Europe looks like... Immediately you look at Europe and you're like, mmm, licking their lips, right? But just keep in mind, there's a little Sly Dog two-point North America in the back door. Two-point North America plus South America combined, right? Nice little three-point now for Asia and Australia. There's some other options, but obviously Europe is the, is the juicy honeypot everybody wants. And green's got the spawn for it. I'm in the third position, which I think is the worst position to spawn in classic fixed first position and second position you can kind of claim your bone blue got a god spawn for australia didn't even see that first and second position you can kind of claim your bonuses uh third position you kind of like you go after the first two people so you don't really have as much of an option to claim something and also you don't get the bonus troops that fourth fifth and sixth get so your first turn's less effective you start with three 
Are you going to literally smoke my two to start the game? You suck all the dicks. Like thousands of them. Ugh, and you're blocking my three in. Interesting. Okay. I'm going to try to claim Africa. I'm not saying this is smart or or going to work. But I we start with the dude card. Sweet. We might as well take Japan so we get that plus two. I'm not saying this is smart. I'm not saying it's going to work. But I have to go for something. Might as well go for Africa. I got to send the Twitch mods nudes of dudes to get partnered on Twitch. Only boobs get partnered that easy. I mean, maybe I should just start, you know? Actually, Vampire Chicken's chair could make an appearance on my only chairs. That would be interesting. That would be a good collaboration. He has been saying we need to do more collaborations. I mean, that's an interesting one. Been like 25 minutes. I'm still working on marketing ideas for the chair only fans. Yeah, like I, I'm not even lying. Like that is kind of a unique and interesting idea. And maybe, maybe I should do it for a joke. It's like <laughs> Twitch revenue, YouTube revenue, PayPal donation revenue, kick revenue, and then OnlyFans revenue. A million dollars a month from my chair being bent over in lingerie. I'll make Amaranth poor. I'll make her look poor with my only chairs. He actually broke a chair. Vampire chicken broke a chair. You still support this man? Well, that's good. You probably should. Do they actually look at your content at all for considering you for partner or is it just the metrics? It's mostly just the metrics. They basically glance at you quickly and then deny you with a copy paste. <clears throat> Pink is also going to fight for Europe. Here we go. Green probably shouldn't have added his troops over here and hit my fucking two-stack dickhole. Now look at you. You're getting raw-dogged by Pink. Purple is now back. He did bot. Miss his turn, but he's back. Okay. Our opponents. Diamond Kant from United States. We've got Mega Marco. Marku from United States. We've got General Nasfers from Australia, I think. Jack motherfucking J1 dollar sign from United States. This guy has a do-rag on his head. We have Redmond Min from Germany. Let's go. Get chair another chair with revenue. Dude, I, I'll create like a company in chair's name. And then chair will be able to uh, file its own taxes. And have its own write-offs. Hot Buns schooled Vampire in the Art of Gaming. So they played this game called Spy Party, which was really fucking cool and interesting to watch. I was trying to record videos on that day, and I did a couple videos, and then I started watching their streams on Spy Party. It was so interesting, I, I made no more videos for the rest of the day. I just got sucked into watching their damn streams. They were so good. Yeah. There's the confrontation. Oh, yeah. Now Pink can move this four up. <clears throat> How do I... I take Japan. I get a plus two with the Japan dude card. Yeah, baby. Give it to me. Oh, South African! Send me a car and give me that big trade plus two on South Africa. Ram Dingle, the whole center of Africa. I will win with the Congo this game. Woo! Do it. I will help in any way. I would appreciate it. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> Wheels is a spying beast. Dude, I understand Wheels meta. I do understand the Wheels meta. You don't pick it, and then you tell them, Oh, wow, I'm just rolling around. Don't worry about me. And then they'll shoot Wheels immediately, and you win. And then when you need to be the sniper, just shoot Wheels, and you win 50% of the time. It seems easy. It, 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 this should be a simple win, right? And if I was partnered on Twitch, I would already be playing Spy Party. I would have already done Lawnmower Simulator for Mr. Abzi, because he sent me that, and I want to play that on stream too. They are a great duo, if only they had a third. Vampire Chicken's in the middle. 
We go back to our beast mode. Purple just hit a yellow two stack. Did he? That was rude in Quebec. Oh, yeah, I was going to lose this one anyways. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, pink, green fighting here. That's why I, I, I thought about rolling India to China. But then I realized pink and green both want to get through here to fight for Europe. I'm going to sit down here. And if these guys kill each other, I'm not that far away. I'm not that far away. Maybe I can be the European guy. Nobody has even taken South America. Huh. Like, Pink could easily just go in. I mean, obviously, he wants Europe. He doesn't want South America. All of his points are... All of his stacks are pointed at Europe. Pink and Green kill each other. Uh, if Green's the one that hits Pink, I go next. Yeah, Pink and Green kill each other? That's not bad for me. Uh, if Pink does the attacking, Blue gets first dibs at killing everybody. But if blue, if green's the one that does it, yeah, and brings it into the six, oh my god, predictable. Then, uh, then I get to go first. Okay, we're getting a car. We're gonna have a car in a moment. Okay, bear with me, and I'm getting the plus two. It's a weird looking car. I don't think it's gonna work. The Congo cavalry incoming, bro. I wish. I wish. Talking about streaming, you dirty boy. What were you talking about? What turn is this? Uh, third turn. We're all taking our third card. The game just begun. We have only just begun. Just kidding. I don't do karaoke, so don't ca don't catch me singing. What? Dude, the honeypot battles are real. Red slams purple. Purple's almost dead already. Red's almost dead already. Red's about to be on... Oh my god, 12 troops, 3 cards. Need to put more over here. Oh my god, I need to... Oh yeah. Oh no, 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 no! Oh. Ejecto Cito, cuz you're giving it away? Oh, you slut. You're giving it away for free? You should demand more for yourself. Have more respect. Did Purple miss a card? He did. Red has bought it. <laughs> Uh, that's annoying because red may add down here. Green big trade on three. I lose Great Britain. He's going to have the two point right now with like sevens guarding. Maybe pink breaks. Yeah, you don't take that yet. Oh, it's, red's definitely going to add on this, too. Car. Car, 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 car. So no trade on four into the dude trade on five. Confirmed. But we will get the plus two on Japan. So there's some saving grace. Also, very interesting time to tune in with Kyle saying, you're giving it away, you slut. What's up, Nathaniel? Red slammed the stack only because purple slammed the stack first. Did he? Okay, I missed that. These guys are... Oh, my God. So I see why Pink backed off, though, because he's going to go for the two-point North America then. Which, okay, if Pink goes for two-point North America and Green takes this, I will take Africa South America. It just traded three dude cards. Up, up, up with the six. Up with the six. The fuck away from me. I was presuming that red didn't trade. So I put a three here. So if red did make a five, it would be more likely to roll up. <laughs> of course it trades. Ugh. Was red from Spain? No. This is Jack motherfucking J1 dollar sign. This is the guy I said has a do-rag on his head. He went out. Lost four on the three. It's gonna take South America. Give him a 
thumbs up. I want him to feel good about me. I want him to stay over here so he's not, yeah, he's not worried about me. Good. I am allied with green. I literally, I can't take this. I can't. Red's going to add more troops here. I can't take this yet. Because I can't trade. And I don't have... Oh my god, he's going to smack my four stack. Artillery! Mm. Big trade, baby. Second biggest trade with a plus two. Defend the Congo? I want red to split up. I want red to break pink. Because it leaves my bonus. If red attacks at all and it hits this one, it may leave with a stack. And then it's touching a 17. It might even fortify in and then I can kill ones. So I'm doing this in a way that red can leave. The likeliest scenario is red adds in here and hits a one in here and then leaves this stuck to me. Like, I, my prediction for red's entire turn, it adds two troops here to make a four, one troop here to be annoying, and then it rolls a four on one and then stops. That's my read on red. He wanted to keep pink trapped, I guess. Like, that was crazy. Pink still has two ones up here. And then he also, he was so scared after doing that, he ran right back. Purple's quadded. Yeah, it makes sense. Makes sense that the purple bot's going to be right here in my face with an eight stack if I do take the bonus, so I have to guard from it. It adds everything here. Wait, are you back? No. Ah, uh, double attack. Please go with the six. No, you're done. Yeah. Damn it. Somebody's got to kill purple, right? Just give him a thumbs up. I don't want him stacking on my border. I want to be his friend. Give green a thumbs up and a heart. Because I, I, I think green's going to take Europe now. Now what? Oh, no. Don't knock me out of Asia, then I'm very killable. Blue's crazy. Oh, he left this three. Just say well played. He's going for the red kill? No. Well, if green wants to kill me, he has to go through this eight stack. Fuck. He still doesn't even take his bonus, huh? If purple rolls an 11 on 10 on me, I will be furious. We know it has no trait. Have I seen the dune maps? Yeah. Uh, they're too small, unfortunately. I like I like the theme behind them. Uh, the designs are kind of cool. 
but they're they're just very small. Risk is a big game. We want six player games. We would love to have eight player games. We want massive multiplayer, big stuff happening. All of the maps except for one Dune map are smaller than Classic. It's unfortunate. It is what it is. Um, purple's getting fully fed. Red's also fed. Pink's going to take this. Yeah, so pink should take North America and back off. Does he? If he takes North America, backs the six off, he's giving me South America, and we all have we both have plus fives, and green takes his plus five after he kills purple. And then blue starts to get choked out. Let's see if pink knows how to play. Classic fixed. See if he knows. Fortunately, the green 30 is kind of blocked off from me. It can hit the 11, but... I mean, there's no sense for green to hit me. So the correct play for pink is to trade and put everything on the 9 and then fortify the 6 back. Give him a thumbs up and a heart. And then he brings the six back to Central America. So I take South America and I completely... Yes. Oh, yes. Fuck yeah. So Pink's smart. That's that's good for the right now, but it's bad for later that he's smart. Because maybe he beats my ass later. But at least for now, we're going to have a good relationship and he made a smart move. That was very smart, signaling me to take this. A lot of people will take this and try to hold both, and then they get into a fight. You put a stack here, then I feel I have to hit him. Green might feel he has to hit him. Blue might come out. Then we're all hitting him. That was a smart play. Very well played. You thought he was going to try to keep South America? No, no. Pink's above Grandmaster. Pink has watched Kilted, maybe? He didn't kill Purple? Uh, okay. Well, I kill purple. Okay. I'm actually not... Uh, Congo or Egypt. I know you don't, don't blaspheme. We'll get Congo later. Could have got better dice. Pink's giving me thumbs up. He wants me to know it's okay. I like this guy. He knows what he's doing. I'll pull these back. So I'm kind of defending against blue in a way. But I'm not... I don't want to be stacked beside green. I don't want green to feel threatened. Pink's going to take up here. So we're going to deadliest trap blue. Yes, the deadliest trap should be me in Italy, Middle East with my full stack. And if I get to, if I live and I trade right now, I will put everything Middle East. I just, I don't want a small stack, like a 17 or something, beside green's 30. I don't want green to feel like he has to trade and try to kill me. So I'm backing off. I don't want my stack threatening him. Play a little defense for a turn. See what happens. Do me in with the resub. What's up, bro? 14 months. I was talking, we were talking about you a little bit lately. I said if I played more Catan, Doomian would be back more often. But, uh, haven't had a chance to play Catan lately. Okay, back to watching chess and working. <laughs> Have a good day, man. Middle East? Easy W? I, I don't think it's an easy W. I lurk a lot just busy with work. Yeah, I understand. You're a very important man in your career. 100% I understand. Congo, baby!
The only downside here is if green thinks that I'm a threat. There we go. Give green a thumbs up. I want green to feel good. I'm not hitting him. I'm not doing shit, right? Green had an opportunity if he had a trade on four there to actually kill me. Trade, kill me, trade. But now it's moments past. So that's why I didn't stack here last turn. But this is the play is to stack here. The downside here is if I misread green and he's a beginner, he might suicide and kill both of us with this. But if I think he's better than beginner, which I think he is, because he did some posturing with pink. He didn't suicide for Europe. He got it. He played well. So I think he's good enough that we're not going to suicide die for no reason. So I think I'm capable of, of sitting here and we can trade cards in Afghanistan. I'll keep opening a stack up to blue or whatever. Pink's going to get big here. I'm going to trust pink in the back. <clears throat> love me some Catan. Yeah, I would actually love to play more Catan on stream. I would. If all Twitch has to do is click that button and then I have a check mark on my name. I'm partnered on Twitch. And then if I'm bored at 8 p.m. or 7 p.m., I'll just throw on a stream, play Catan for a couple games. Why? We had such a good thing. It's always my neighbor that bots, right? It's not like I'm in green's position and pink bots. It's my neighbor that bots. What? Chess is so 2020, bro. The main issue is pink and green are so cut off from each other. So it's a three player end game. I'm the most likely target. Yeah. If everything stays kind of how it is, yeah. Interesting. I have to open blue now to take a card. Unless green does something crazy. I kind of don't want to open blue because I also want to bring a bunch of troops back here. He's putting a stack near pink. That's risky. That's very risky. <clears throat> ha. Huh. Pink has no trade against eight. Please stack out here. It's going to put a bunch here. Yeah. This guy botting is a problem. Because I have to guard this, and I lose this. And then if I lose this stack to somebody, I'm screwed. Yeah, it puts all eight here because my stack's so big. Shit. 15 on 15 could happen, though. Does it? No. Ugh. Ugh. So if you guys are wondering why I didn't take a card, I didn't want I, I had to make this fortify, and I didn't want to make this fortify and open blue. Because blue might actually be a psycho. And if he hits this 20 and I'm up, I'm screwed, right? That, that's my end of my game. Let me hold this for a couple turns. I, I could maybe open him next turn. The bot is going to start climbing in here and, and suffocating everything. My guess is purple actually runs back to his Ukraine stack. And then I can take a card here. And then I actually think the bot... Oh, unless the 7 stays. He's trapping the 15... Okay, something's kicking off. Something's kicking off because the bot has to hit this 15 or the 15 has to hit blue. And if it hits blue, blue's going to be mad. But if it doesn't hit blue, he's going to be mad because he's going to get hit by the bot. Something's happening. Right now, something's happening. I would never leave in that position if I was paying. He had a two-point North American honeypot, and then he left. I actually don't think he left. I think he must have had a problem. Right? Pink was playing this game very smart, very calculated. <laughs> he hits the two, maybe? Yeah, he's going to try to... Oh, okay. So he keeps his stack alive because the bot can split around him. I need to make this bigger. Yeah. It might even 30 v 34. It shouldn't, but <clears throat> I need to trade. It hits the, oh, it would have hit the 27. Yeah, I have to keep this big enough that it doesn't. I hope it adds a couple troops out here. Not all eight. Okay, six. Oh, it gets nine now because it's got 12 territories. 
It actually probably rolls this seven. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Who has a cheap card if he wants it, or he can hit the seven. We're in a tough position. Pink is actually the one with the most troops, which is funny. The power and skill is in the chair. Can't be getting rid of that. Kyle, if you have a new house, does that mean you'll get a new chair? No, 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 no. I got the same chair, Abzi. We might even have a chair only fans in the future. This chair. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he didn't rage quit. Probably had to go or DC. Yeah. Pink, uh, the way Pink was playing, I actually think he's a good player. He's probably got a decent rating. Uh, decent rank. And this this is one of those situations where it's like, oh, this guy bought it, the idiot. Why would you quit? But I actually don't think he bought it. A lot of the time you can get a good feel if you think somebody's rage quitting. I think Pink just lost connection or some emergency happened. Because he wanted he clearly played this game with the intention of continuing to play it, right? We didn't reach a stalemate. We didn't anything. He finally got this great position and lost connection immediately. So it's not like he 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 spent all that time coordinating with Green to kind of sneak through. He got South America for a couple turns, used it to take North America, signaled me to come in, had a great relationship with me, had a great two-point honeypot, was getting ready here to, to do something. And then, uh, and then quit. Uh, okay, well... Pink's gonna stack in my in, in Blue's way, so this is kind of cool. Good old plus two on the Congo is nice. Uh, Pink might trade, which is a problem. Like I, okay, wild card's good. I actually have to be scared of this. If this hits my stack, I lose, right? So I actually have to keep... If you're playing against a newer player, you don't want to keep raising the stacks because eventually the stacks collide. But I, I have to actually keep this stack so big the bot can't collide with it. And look at it. It did trade on three. So that's why I had to put so much there. <clears throat> I actually had no choice. Six goes up, 12 comes down. Maybe the five gets hit, but maybe not. Oh, it doesn't even come down. This is ridiculous. Like at some point, maybe I have to abandon that. This 21 is also trapped. Green's hurting for a card. I hope he hits something that's not me. Okay, yeah, blue decided now's the time. And that That's the risk. That's the problem I had to deal with with pink botting is I have to put so many troops here that blue can feel good hitting my 25. I had no choice or I let the bot come into my back door. <clears throat> Now I kill blue for five cards and take second. Or he kills blue. He's gonna chill, right? Don't guard that, please. I have to kill blue. Until I need to hit his territory if I'm gonna kill blue. Okay. So we teach Blue a lesson immediately. Make sure I hit him with that. I'm going to signal him let's hit pink. And I abandon all the bonuses and say good game. Well played. Yo, Pete coming in with the raid. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. I hope you did well in your uh, turbo tourney game. I didn't do so well in mine. Spoiler alert. 
<laughs> is what it is. It was fun though. The very rare Kilted Revenge Slam. Yeah, he was on five cards. I could kill him. I This guy needs to get put in the dirt, right? This guy doesn't know what he's doing. I hope Green... I, I think Green's good. He knew enough to move out of my way. I hope Green will kill Pink with me and let me get second. Because I'm about to full send Pink. The difficulty of the bot is hard. But uh, he could kill me here and then beat the bot in a 1v1 easy. But I'm hoping... I'm hoping he'll let me send my troops into pink and, and he can win and I can get second. My decision to kill blue was to try for second. He can deny that, but I hope he doesn't. <clears throat> Pete left after a stalemate? Yeah, I'm not surprised. And then it was a, re a replay? Yeah. If, if, if we had to replay... He's not hitting pink. He's not even gonna break it? All right, we, we might actually just get third because green might be that guy. <clears throat> okay. Like, yeah. Is he actually going to hit pink? I, 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 I'm committing. I'm committing. Yeah, yeah. I full sent pink. I did my side of it. Dude, pink, Pete, thank you so much for the raid, man. I appreciate it. Whew. Uh, weird that we went kilted. Why are you kill me? I am pink. Jerk off? What? Jerk off. What's up, Rona? Are you blue? Wait, what? Kilted, I am pink. Why hit me? Kilted, I am the pink player. Why are you in my game? <laughs> I got second place. Do you? Uh. Hold that. Hold that. Hold that. That's my boy. That's called streams. No, no. Of course he's streaming. Blue's also sniping. Everybody's sniping. That's how it works. I understand. Did you guys already ban him? We're, we're, I can't even find his name. Did I miss something? Did I miss something? Did you guys already ban him? Oh, you timed out. Okay, I can't find him. There it is. I found him. Uh, killed it. I'm pink. I'm pink. Why are you killing me? I am pink. I actually thought that guy was fun to play with, but apparently... The whole time I thought Pink was all right. He's just a douchebag scum, scumbag stream sniper. All right, we'll ban him. There's no point in a timeout, so I fixed it. I up, I updated your punishment, sir. Finish him. I didn't want to. No, I appreciate it, man. I'm black. Oh no. I mean, that's what I said. Even if I join lobbies, I'm gonna get sniped on the stream, right? It is what it is. I think the chatter's joke. No, I don't think he's joking. It ruins the vibe of the- of course, of course. Blue probably also was sniping. Like, like let's be real, there's probably multiple. <clears throat> Could someone be trolling? Yeah, some people do. That guy, the, if you read all of his messages back to back, I'm pretty sure he was he was, uh... He was being serious. Generally, you can- you can guess who's trolling. You have to- no, I actually hosted this lobby. I was lying to you guys that I was joining a lobby. I hosted the lobby. Five people are sniping? No, no. 
At least one, maybe two. Pretty sure everybody else was cool. Send him a heart, good game. Congrats on first. Oh. Uh, yellow is sniping. Oh no! I'm the black player. Master Abzi, you're only black below the waist. Mm. I just missed Pete. Can anyone tell me how to sign up for the World Risk Championship? Yes. I'm posting the link right here. Uh, the Risk World Championships are coming up starting next week. The link I just posted in both chats. Uh, Signups are open to everybody. So sign up. If you do join at the link, at the bottom of the sign up form, there is a link to the main Risk Discord. You have to be on that Discord to play. So please sign up. Uh, if you want to play, sign up and then join that Discord. Make sure you're in there. And uh, yeah, come play. I'm the gold player. I'm the brown player. Spaceport. Oh my God, what is happening? Okay, I'm going to leave you guys with chair because I actually have to pee. I haven't took a pee break yet. So we're going to go now. How do you find out your game time? So when you sign up, the sign up form, you submit your available hours. And based on the hours you submit, they're going to put you in a group with people in the same time zone. And uh, on Monday, or Sunday night to Monday morning, they will ping you. Everybody will get pinged in the Discord to let them know what group they're in, what time they're playing. And you can always go and look at the spreadsheet to see yourself. Are you able to hide your screen from stream while you're choosing a lobby? No. So TDB, we, we, we've tried everything. I can change my name between every game. I can change my color. I can change my avatar. I can change my name. I can change accounts. The problem is, there's only like 30, 40 lobbies and or 50, 60 sometimes. And the majority of the lobbies are garbage settings. So if I host something that you know I play, like Classic Fixed with Blizzards or Europe Advanced Prog Caps or an Alcatraz game or a Supermax game, or I go out to Trigons. Or if you see a lobby opening during the five minutes I'm trying to get a game and you're one of the 10 or 12 people trying to fuck with me, you have a very high chance of getting in, right? Which is why Pete doesn't stream as much, Vampire Chicken doesn't stream Risk as much. I don't stream Risk as much, or I'm about to, so. It is what it is. I'm gonna go take a piss. I'll be right back. I'll leave you guys with my boy. Treat him good. He's a good boy.
The stars, oh my god, you guys, fuck. You could take over the stream. You go play a game of Risk. Alright guys, I'm back. I'm back. Woo. Oh baby, that was Powell play. Powell on the field. What's happening? Alright, hold on. Let me let me set something up. Uh if any of you would like to play a game, I'm gonna host a lobby for everybody. You're all welcome to join and play with me. So please fire up your risk if you'd like a chance to get in and play. Hey, killed it. Funny story. What's up, third healer? That didn't take long. Dude, the Calder? Have you seen this fine piece of chair? You wouldn't last long either. Cheer me up. What's up, Jake? My dishwasher repair guy is a fan of yours. What? That would be the first time I've heard a story like that. That's really fucking cool. That chair has been furiously masturbated in more than enough times for that to be normal. So, we're going to host a game. You're all welcome to join and play with me if you want. Uh, we're going to host something cool. If you guys don't know how to join the game, this is the name I was using today. I don't even play StarCraft, but... Uh, if you would like to join, open up your Risk Client and go to Battle. Make sure you're on this section. I think the very first time you click casual, it shows as public and it says no friends allowed. You have to make it sure you click this section and then click private so it's friends. Check mark, friends. This is how you play with people you know, or me. This is, a, this is within the rules. Now I'm gonna host a lobby. And right here, here, enter ID. You click on that. And it brings this up. You type the ID in the middle and you press enter. When I host the game, the ID will be in the middle of the screen. You can join. He came in and saw I was playing and somehow knew you. Fuck yeah. Hey, we're growing, man. That's actually pretty cool. Why does it have to be furious? Why can't we just relax? Yeah, it can't be a relaxed masturbation. Kilted is a man of great passion. He knows no other way. I mean, you're not wrong. I'm very aggressive in everything I do. Maybe not that, but I'm going to host a Europe advanced progressive capitals game. I guess I might as well turn fog off because you guys are going to see everything. Um, put alliances on. Sure. Uh, if you guys would like to play a Europe advanced capitals game with me, now's the chance. I, uh, I never host this in a friends game, so I'm gonna try it today. Five. Truth powers, ah oh, man, I don't want high skill in here. All right, all right, let's go. Uh, good luck everybody, we're gonna fire up. Please click ready. We've got Burly Doman, the novice, you troll. We got NPL Noobmaster69. Now that's a name with a fucking cowboy hat flag from Nepal. General Deadeye. I have an alt account with the name General Deadeye, so this guy's on my account. We got Kyrgyzstan, General Steel. Cool flag. And Truth Powers. Truth Powers is uh, entering round nine of the Kill Pete Open. Good luck, everybody. <clears throat> what are EU Caps games like without the Caps? Uh, like 10 minute games. You know the people that get the god spawns on the Europe Advance map? Well, imagine you didn't have a capital to defend yourself, and they just took the whole board. And you only get three troops a turn instead of five. You're fucked. 
You get three troops, they get 16, they take everything of yours, and you get three troops, and you take one territory back. Then they get plus 25. Your game is dead. Oh, baby, honeypot time, let's go. <clears throat> I'm first also? I think I... Oh my god. Purple, if purple capped on burgundy, it's a god cap. For, for noob corner. I'm going to tell you right now, General Steel. If you cap on Burgundy, I'm rolling you. I'm rolling Burgundy on turn one, no matter what you do. So choose something else. <laughs> or, or at least be warned. I'm definitely rolling Burgundy turn one. Start of a 100 hour stream it is. This is not going to last 100 hours. Fuck me, I have to update risk. What world is this that I have to actually update it? I know. I'm asking for a three hour game. Literally anything else. Oh God, killed it. Dude, one shot. I want to play a Europe Advanced Day game today. Yeah, that's a good cap. I could roll that cap too. I've got a three stack. Oh, I could really do damage to purple. I'm not gonna. That's a good honey pot. But he, he, he was nice. He didn't cap in my burgundy. So I'm not gonna roll this cap because he capped somewhere else. That would be a dick move. Y'all are quick. Hell yeah. What the F is Truth's cap? Truth's cap is actually really good. If you look at it, Venice cuts off the bottom section. It's a two-point guard with like Grease or Dyna Rides on the entire bottom of the map. Oh, no, 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 it's not because you can actually move through the Orient. Okay, never mind. It's not a bad cap for like Italy or whatever. How about an alliance? Yeah, it's, we got alliances on too. I don't expect to win this game, by the way. Wait, nobody's in Noob Corner. Bros? I love you guys. What is this? All right, purple backstab time. I'm just kidding. I'm not AKA spud topped. Only AKA spud topped would make a move like that. Trying to put my feet in the sand and let you guys know where I'm aiming. Uh. Yeah, I should be fine. Red wants an alliance, I accept. Good first card. Yeah. Truth got to rank one playing these settings, so I'm sure he knows how to play. Ah. <laughs> this is interesting. I might have to do some sharing. I can share. I'm not a bad person for sharing. Where's Bo Skittle to get triggered? Why would he be triggered? What's What, what would trigger him here? Hmm. Purple got bullied into that cap? Well, not really. I, I He had to know if he goes there, he gets rolled. I was just, in case he wasn't aware that like that's the only play I have when I cap here. If he caps here, I had to, right? And actually his cap here is okay, but you can't really take this cap safely unless you know I'm not gonna roll you. Cause I could have definitely nine before him, but I, would, I wouldn't I would do that after he, he goes out of my way, right? I wanna play a game, I want purple to have a game. I want them to play a game too, right? I wanna have fun here. I want everybody to have fun or a chance in this game. Five of us are gonna get slammed and destroyed, so. Or at some point it's gonna be a stalemate and then I'm just gonna have to leave, I don't know. <laughs> YouTube chat must be turned off or Kyle hates me. No, no, I've got, uh, it's just, every time there's a YouTube message, there's like 10 Twitch messages and then a YouTube message. There's more viewers on YouTube, but way more chatters on Twitch. Oh my God. Hanny just showed me his chair with a bunch of sick shit on it. That's pretty funny. Read my super chat. I'm spending, why is your super chat not popping up? Okay. If you actually did super chat, I'm very sorry. I don't know why it didn't pop up. Okay, so I need to be... I, I, I will, give me a second and I will, yeah, yeah. So I could go in and take Iceland, but uh, I think the relationship that, I think maintaining some kind of relationship with truth, I actually think I'm just gonna trust him fully. I mean, there's no reason not to.
then I can... I, I actually don't even have to knock green out. We'll see how it plays out. Uh, M.A. Singer. Thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Red Baron with the follow. Very special boy. 69 with the follow. Sorry I missed your follows earlier with the paint stream. Thank you all for following. Welcome in. And here I thought I was talking too much. No. Yeah. Twitch chat spams way more than YouTube. So, okay. Drip. Oh, you had a super chat. 27 S-E-K. Uh, that's a Sweden crone, right? Spread chairs cheeks. Bro, did I not do that? I swear I did that. I'm sorry that that didn't pop up. I don't know exactly what's going on with the alerts. I know everything 5 USD and higher will read the message on YouTube for a super chat. Uh, any any tips, I think, are $4.20 or higher. They read, oh my god, Blue's going crazy. That's a big boy bonus right there. That's uh, Eastern Europe. Dude, this map without fog is weird. So it's like, who snowballs fastest or what? <clears throat> Finally, I'm able to see a stream, something different than YouTube videos. What's up, man? Welcome in. Yeah, we're gonna, I've got, uh, I actually, I was planning to stream tomorrow and I had a banger YouTube video today. And then I remembered on Wednesday, I was gonna, I told you guys I was gonna stream on Friday. So I didn't want to, I didn't want to all of a sudden not after I said I was going to. And then Becky is also coming over tomorrow. So I think she gets here around 1 or 1.30. So like I'd have to, if I stream tomorrow, it'd have to be a short one. I might still do a short stream tomorrow, but I'm not sure. But the banger video I had ready for today is now going to come out tomorrow. Unless I decide to do a stream tomorrow, but I probably won't. Today's stream is not quite... It's, we're not smashing records today. <clears throat> What's up, Jeep Bunky? Yo, I hadn't looked at the Bitcoin price in months and months. Lol, thanks. Time to treat myself this weekend. Oh, yeah, man. If you're invested and you don't know what's going on, it's actually not a terrible idea. There are a lot of people that think if you are invested in crypto, you, the best strategy is just not to look at it. I put myself in a, in a situation. For what it's worth, lying to chat would have been really funny. Why, I, I gen, generally, I'm, I'm not a liar, so. Like, I, I, there is, like, honestly, I could be like, well, I, I fully intended to stream Friday, so that's why I said it, that I'll see you on Friday, and then I didn't. Like, if something comes up or I had to miss it, sure. But I, I don't know, I just felt like I, I told you guys I'd be back in two days, and I wanted to honor that. Although, like, I would much prefer releasing a banger video on a Friday than on a Saturday, because Saturdays are, like, my worst performing days. So if I have, like, a really good video, I'd much prefer to release it on a weekday. It has much more chance to do well. Will the first game be on YouTube? No, no, not quite. <clears throat> Just smashing the chair instead. Abzi, I was talking to you about you a little earlier. Um, if we do finally get partnered on Twitch which is what I'm trying to do. My entire goal at that point is like, if I'm bored in the evening, I can literally just turn stream on and stream whatever the hell I want at any time. Okay, so blue and me and white are gonna get strong. Red and green are gonna slowly start to catch up, but probably still stay quite a bit behind. <laughs> hmm. I'm gonna run out of cards. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, interesting. The more green ads back there, what? Did he bot? Oh, that was a mistake. Okay, interesting. 
Huh. I'm sorry, Truth. <laughs> I'm sorry, Truth. I mean, we had a thing that was going to happen, but I mean, now you understand. Green had it. I, I had it. I had him protected in there. Oh my god, and now I get the worst dice ever? Do I actually not clean this because I get the worst dice ever, or do I get to clean it? Okay, I do. Are you shocked? Green! That was my bonus. I could have knocked you out on turn one, turn two, three, four. I left you the entire time to protect you so you don't die early. And instead of that, you backstab me. Fully backstab me. No! Now I want you to die! <laughs> What, what, what is that Adam Sandler thing? I hope you die and you burn in hell! Or whatever that- Oh, fucking Blues Ram dingling you hard. I'm sorry, Green. It had to happen. <laughs> you did it to yourself! You should have protected your capital. What's happening? What's up, Fast Epic? We're playing a community game on Europe Advanced Capitals. Those dice- I got the worst dice retaking this. But we got there. Oh my god. Red might even go for the... He can't, because Blue's got the split here. Truth was trying to work with me on something. And then all of a sudden, like, I'm like, I'm considering it. And then Green's like, actually, I would like you to kill me instead. Is the corner cap mine? No, I'm, uh, I'm in Paris. I guess if, if that's what you're asking, then yes. <clears throat> It's the blue too. Oh! He's going in to break White's Italy. No, he's hitting my two. Okay. Does he get the dice? Oh my god. Oh no! He's committed. Does Green not watch your videos? What did he expect to happen? I'm not sure. <clears throat> I'm not sure. Uh... Hmm. This is fine. Might need some damage on that, but we'll see. Alliances are on, so I mean, if somebody's gonna try to communicate with me in alliances, I think it makes sense to work with them. <laughs> Interesting. So Green is a woman? Ah! Uh, Green, one of those players who blames everything for his loss. Oh, so Green's a uh, Green's just like, no reason to talk smack, right? We're just playing a friendly Europe Advanced Caps game, and maybe they didn't like that I was getting too strong. They wanted to kind of take uh, Scandinavia, and they're like, I can take that bonus, and maybe Kilted lets me hold it. But then I'm like, hey, you better not do that. And then he, he hits me further, because he knows I'm going to hit him anyways, right? So I, I don't know. You, you kind of got to make plays. He was in a tough spot. He was weak. So it was a tough position to play. Blue's retaking. And breaking. Oh, slider error. <laughs> Oops. He even early traded for that. Interesting. Blue is almost killable for white if, if white was open. Like if there was a Dino Rides hit, I think white could kill him. Purple's now going up here. <laughs> Interesting. Oh! Oh, I thought he was raw dogging it. He's not. Hmm. Okay. 
What kind of shenanigans should I do here? Who <laughs> really just wants to knock me out down here? All right, you got me. You got me. I'm surprised actually nobody killed Green for his cards. I guess he's not. Uh, the cards are the trades are still low, right? <clears throat> so it is what it is. Do actually want a stronger cap just in case they get betrayed at some point? I actually also think I'm just going to completely send it. The downside is I'm card blockable later, and if, and if I lose to a card block, then so be it, right? It's, it is what it is. I'll take my chances. <laughs> I couldn't have possibly tried to feed that any more to truth. He's like, hit blue, hit blue, open me. I couldn't have possibly tried to feed him any more net. Oh, no. How many troops does he have? Does he have enough? 21? As long as he doesn't get completely screwed on dice. Oh, I guess the downside is he doesn't have enough cards for the trade. Interesting. He takes the cap, though. Leaves 15 and 25. Not a bad split. Yeah, he couldn't actually go for the kill because he would have had nothing. He would have had, like, no troops left. And I, I only have a 16. I, I do kind of have a kill guard on him. But, I mean, if he's also dead, I mean, I might as well kill him. So he can't... We are allied, but at some point, if he's got 10 troops left, I mean, I have to do what I have to do at that point. Hmm. Red goes for the green kill. No, no green kill. I actually can't kill green because he's trapped. Oh, he takes the cap. Jesus. What is happening? I have 69 troops, by the way. So we dab on that. Oh, purple's going to go for it now. He's got 69 troops. He's going to kill green. We both have 69 troops. Let's go purple. Woo! A good game, Green. Stupid letting black hold that much. I mean... I, I, I got a very good spawn. And then White and I had a decent alliance early, right? So now it's like, you if you do hit me, I have a lot to punch back with. Yeah. Oh, we actually didn't kill Green. That's interesting. And Green's like, I can't hit black anymore. Now what do I do? Who do I attack if I can't hit black? Hmm. Purple says he has to hit my territory? Like, I could take Russia. I could kill Blue. I have, I have, I have, all, I have options, right? Like, if Purple's going to come through all my shit, I don't think he's going to... He's got... I didn't know if he'd have a trade on three or not. Well, I did what Truth asked. He's going to kill Green. That makes sense. Green's a free kill. Why wouldn't you, right? Purple should have killed Green. Rip Mr. Deadeye. Yeah, GG Mr. Deadeye. Thank you for playing. 
As I said, everybody's going to get betrayed at some point. How much is he breaking, though? Yeah. Trades are 30. He's taking his bonus and chilling. Okay, so red's got two caps, two bonuses. He's chilling. Purple's probably going to clean out that other bonus. Hmm. Dude's trying to, like, balance the game. I don't really want the game to be balanced because I want to fight. Like, if we balance the game, <clears throat> then it's going to stalemate, right? So I kind of want to keep the imbalance. Oh my god, what is wrong with my dice? Alright. <clears throat> I could have traded, but I think they're going to trade before me anyways. I think, I think what... I think white wanted me to feed him somebody, but I wanted to kind of knock purple out because now purple's trapped behind these two capitals and I don't have to worry about him. I have a feeling purple was going to ramdingle me very soon, right? Like we, 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 he kept saying he had to attack my territory with a stack up here. So I had a feeling he wanted to ramdingle. What's he going for? Hmm. Scandinavia. I actually thought he was going to take this. I kind of left it open so he could have went for Eastern Europe or Central Europe, but he went for Scandi. He didn't break that though. Red's going to break me. Uh... All right, we get team done now. Ooh, big breaks. Okay. <laughs> Can I feed red's kill to white? 70 plus a couple bonuses. Kind of want revenge, right? I like revenge. Revenge feels good. That's not enough to hit his cap, though. I'll open you again, then. I just can't feed you fully. Yeah, watch this. Go ahead. Go ahead and slam me then. All right. Watch this then. You can't hit me with a watch this and then expect me not to ram dingle, bro. What's up, Trollfax? <clears throat> I would personally nail red here, whatever happens. Well, I kind of wanted to feed red to white there. But uh, I didn't quite have enough troops 
to uh, take this cap. And I would have had to take this cap so White could take the other. White couldn't have taken both caps. I'm getting hit more and more by White, by the way. Oh, he suicides. Cool. Red's dead now? What are you going to protect your capital with? Nothing, exactly. So purple gets out. That's really good for purple. Yeah. Purple was screwed, now he's out. Oh, he's over attacking, okay. No, I'm getting triple slammed. Okay, I'm gonna chill. Sixty nine on the cap. Like, if all three of them are hitting me, I need to back off, right? <clears throat> I think everybody in chat's like, all three of them need to team on black now. So you got your wish. <clears throat> but now I can't do anything. Now I have to wait, right? Now the board stabilizes. If they didn't all three team on me, I was going to kill the next person and go into the three player, but... Purple gets 22. Purple could almost kill red right now. Purple's very strong. He's gonna break me again? Okay. Purple, you lost your privileges to take cards. Oh, 71 stack, huh? White wants to trade, kill, red, trade, right? You can go around this way. Dude, you could kill red without even me hitting the 20. Let's be real. I mean, you could kill that without me, right? Okay. That's okay. Let's get right out of the game, and then we'll work on the next one. Oh, he might not have had a trade on four. If he didn't have a trade, he couldn't have done it, right? Yeah, okay. Watch this. We're going to watch you die now. How much are the trades worth? Uh, 55? Yeah, so White's going to get a double trade. Come on, come on. Uh, I didn't put enough over to kill Purple, too. Okay. <laughs> he gets 110, 120 troops, or sorry, 115 troops here. If he moved this full stack over, he could have took the purple cap, and then I would have cleaned purple out of the rest. Or I guess he would have had to, because purple goes next. Interesting position. I have a goal for this game. Collab. I have a goal for this game. Five stream snipers in one game shakes my head. Oh no. I left for five minutes and the board changed completely. Yeah, purple wants to die next. 
Purple is full targeting me, so he wants to get third place. Interesting. Unless he feeds me so he can get second. He should have been playing for first, though. Like, attack purple. I mean, I'm pretty sure you kill me first, right? Maybe he's got a trade he can kill purple first? No. I think I die first, right? Meh. Rip. You messed up, kid. You were dead, except it. No, I am dead. I am dead. I really just want second place. I want purple to get fucked. I really want purple to get fucked. There's, there's no, it, it is what it is, right? It, it's how it happens. I should have card skip maybe, but I don't want to play the game where I skip on two. He would have killed me anyways. Might as well give him the extra card. You just let white win. You should have went for the top left corner. Dude, the, the thing is, Mr. Elk, I wanted to backstab Truth. The second he started knocking my bonuses out, I actually really wanted to fuck him. But the second he did it, purple and red also full sent me, right? So, like, we got triple team. Like, we're supposed to lose. If we get triple teamed, we're supposed to lose. That's how it works. White missed a spot. Is he going to kill guard me? Why wouldn't you kill guard me? Oh, my God. Putting purple behind white red turned out not to play. Yeah. Well, actually, it was a good play. Because you want to knock purple out of here. He was going to team on me anyways, right? Yeah, yeah, get your kill. <laughs> good game. That's why alliances suck. Both. Dude, we, we are specifically playing a Europe Advanced Caps game for fun with you guys from the stream. So... Okay. When he backdoored me, I really wanted to fuck him. I mean, I wanted to. Come on, purple, win against the white idiot. Wait. He can cap run. What is this game? Oh my god. What is this BM? Yeah, it is BM. <laughs> I should have just rolled purple's cap in the first turn, General Steel. I'll remember you, General Steel. Next time I'll turn one, roll your cap. What is this? Are you gonna stall too? Oh, God. Bro, imagine I had a trade on three and I won against the 97. That would have been sick. That would have been sick. Play with friends more like abuse kilted seven ways of Sunday? A little bit, yeah. You got some BM? Oh, yeah. Damn, you got backstab, bro. Yeah, yeah. That, as I said, five of us are going to get fucked over and lose the game, right? So if I'm going to do that to other people and expect them not to be salty and pissed off, I should be able to do the same. All right, so White's going to win. Good game, guys. That was fun. I actually never host Europe Advanced with uh, community games because usually they stalemate. They either stalemate or it's a lot of alliances and bullshit, right? So I would prefer the alliances and bullshit over the stalemate, but generally they don't really play like good games. That's why I don't normally host those settings. No, white loses. You think white's going to lose? Didn't he have enough on caps for when purple runs? I tried hard to give you second for not suiciding. Ah, it's all good. <laughs> 
I respect how you play, though. You go for fast game. Yeah. Daryl, fucking some people will sit here and take a card and pass for four hours? I can't watch that. I won. I know you won. I, I can't watch that. I can't play a four-hour game of nothing. I'm always going to look for that edge and the way to push aggression into the game of Risk. Because a lot of people like to play more chill. And I don't win as many games. Because there's if, you, if you're full aggression, you're going to take some damage. But that's the only reason why I can think Purple attacked your territory. Oh, because I knocked him. Because Purple wanted Russia. But for Purple to get Russia, he would have had to break four of my bonuses to get all the way around to the back. And, and because he was going to try to do that, I had to knock him out. He kept telling me he was going to hit me. So I had to knock him out before he hit me, right? Thanks for hosting. Yeah, it was fun. Thanks for playing. You were red? Hell yeah. You're my enemy. <laughs> Lots of fun, yo. GG red uh, from blue. Yeah, fuck yeah, guys. Good game. <clears throat> red played well, but they had bad caps to start with. Yeah. No fog could have... Yeah, so I, I went no... Yeah. I specifically went no fog because everybody playing was in the stream, right? So I figured if they're going to be able to see the whole board, I might as well be able to. And then if we're going to go no fog, we might as well also go alliances. And then that's why we play like that. Getting second in 30 minutes is better than getting first in four hours. A thousand times yes. Especially because, Daryl, it's not even like you always get second in 30 minutes. If you play full aggro, sometimes you still get first in, in 30 minutes, right? And that's the real fun. Finding out how to be as aggressive as possible and then still having high winning chances in that. That's the line I've been trying to grow. Because when I first started playing ranked, I would, okay, I'll, I have to sit and do nothing, ha sit and do nothing. And I get lots of wins, but then like, how can I make it more interesting, more fun and more exciting for me too? So over time, I kind of built more of an aggressive strategy. I, I think I'm probably the, one of the most aggressive uh, I'd say risk YouTubers for ranked videos, like if I'm playing the settings, right? Like you could say Speedster might play more aggressive on Europe Advanced, but I don't think he plays more aggressive in every game. But for the most part, I'm, I'm up there. General Steel played on Pete's game as well and suicided into Pete. Did he? Okay, that's actually, that is the, the bad actor stream snipers that uh, I think if he was going to be a bad actor, he would have capped on me though. So I'm not saying this is him, but bad actor stream snipers that are trying to ruin the games when I jump into ranked, they can also kind of join into my lobby when I host for everybody for fun anyways. At least I expect it there. You were thinking about the Russia cap, but then you would have had no bonus. Yeah, the way Russia was split, you didn't really want to go for Russia. I got first in four hours once, and that was the last time I played Europe Advanced Progressive Capitals. <laughs> Disgusting! Hold on, let me see what's going on. Oh, shit. Hot Buns is currently playing her Kill Pete Open Round 8. <clears throat> Are we playing another play with friends on Alcatraz or doing some rank? Uh, I, I was debating it. I think I'm going to raid out. I might stream tomorrow, but most likely I'll be back on Monday. Round 9 practice, let's do it. Yeah, I, I might. I actually probably need a Round 9 practice. But I, I'm not feeling, like, the focus. Like, I'm not feeling hopping into a round nine and trying to, like, focus on it. Just stream, you wimp. No, 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 no. We're going to raid out to Hot Buns. She's a lovely lady uh, from United Kingdom, but she's currently in G in Germany with her mans. She's playing round eight of the Kill Beat Open. Uh, for you guys on YouTube, if you don't know about her, I'll post a link in YouTube. This lady is in round eight of the Kill Beat Open, and she's playing a very important game. So we're going to raid her. Oh my god, picket fence. Fuck! New kick dance. So, Jesus, fuck, dude. I don't know how many gift subs that is. Is that 10? Is that 15? I have no idea how many gift subs that is. Thank you so much, dude. Holy shit. Kick gift subs coming in hot as we're raiding out. As someone who has played round 9 settings with you, you need the price. When did you do that, sniper? When? Fuck it, I'll fuck the chair for 20 kick subs. What the shit, dude? Thank you so much, man. Honest to God. Uh, fuck, you interrupted me. Dude, pick a fence. I appreciate it. You got, like, the fucking leaderboard happening on kicks. Thank you so much. You and chair should get a room. I'll be back on Monday, guaranteed. Maybe tomorrow. Let's go say hi to Hot Buns. She probably 
won't be able to answer because I think she's focusing on her tournament game. But uh, wish her luck. We'll see how she does. And I'll see you guys in a bit.